Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Fannin County High School Stadium here for a beautiful Friday night in Blue Ridge, Georgia. And the Fannin County Rebels are going to be taking on the Hayesville Yellow Jackets from Hayesville, North Carolina. A little second scrimmage game of the season. I'm Kevin Painter along with Andy Art, Matthew Queen. we got both of them back. And we got the newest addition of Mr. Eddie Warren E. O'Neill. The Mobile Connection is going to be helping us out this year. We've got uh, we got some conflicts throughout the year with some of our schedule stuff, so it's going to take four of us to keep probably two of us, really. Matthew's, Matthew's wife won't let him out of the house much either. No. Uh, she keeps him all She keeps him on a tight there. leash. Very tight leash for Roll good reason. Roll, Roll tight. Good Lord. But, uh, hey, it's good to be back here in football season. Guys, it was just a few months ago we were still here in football, it seems like. That was the goal last year is to have Thanksgiving dinner. Well, we were close. Well, we did have it here. Well, that's, yeah, yeah I get it, just a little bit of yeah, because it went. We went all the way to what, to December 11th, right? December. I had uh, the early talk show today with Coach Cheatham, just talking about you know a little bit of last season, talking about last week and everything. And it was I was sitting there looking at that stuff beforehand. It was amazing. I mean, we planned that late in the year, but what a great season the Rebels had. Um, what we finished what ten and two, ten and one, ten and one. To, with the loss to with the loss uh, season in loss to Fitzgerald, but uh, you know it's odd number that was we had those what we missed the game with Gilmer. We had two forfeits. Uh, yeah. Well, not forfeits, forfeits, but two canceled games due to COVID. Who was Kusa? Yeah, it was Kusa. Eddie said Kusa. Hey, and it's great to have Eddie here with us. Eddie's got a lot more football knowledge than I do. You know, Eddie's the proud father and sorely missed Mr. Uh, Mike O'Neill that we had. You know, great linebacker and just a great kid all around. We lost graduation last year and lost some. We lost some very talented kids. Uh, seven double A player of the year. Seven defensively. Defensively and and the state what, what, weightlifting champion. Correct? Yes, sir. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. Hey, just tons of success last year in programs all around. You know, football program was great. You know, you got uh, got you know Mike and his success. Got Luke and his success playing up at Eastern Kentucky. We got Bundy his success playing up at Liberty. Who else? You know, I don't know that. Uh, several other kids had opportunities to go play. I know some of them chose not to and going on to college and different traits and stuff as that, but what a great season. It was a great season. Matthew? It was a great season. It was a lot cooler <laughs> last time we were together than we're, right now. We're feeling like it's we're in the miserable. roastry. And we're yes. up here on the uh, on the perch up here and still got a little bit of sun. And, you know, August weather is warm. It's probably the warmest little bit we've had this year. We've been lucky. But uh, it's going to be a good night out here. I see the referee and crews down on the field. and Let's go back and let's talk a little bit about last week in Gilmer, the first game of the year. I know we were – Matthew, were you there? No, I was not. Oh, me and Andy was there. I know Eddie was there. Emma, was you there? I was there. She was there. Well, before we get started, let's talk about the great job that we get by the technology students uh, at the high school under the direction of Bubba Gibbs. All this is possible because of those great kids and what they do. They're out here learning a trait, helping. You know, they do everything for Fanning Rebel TV. They do everything for Rebel Radio. We just get to sit here and uh, I would say look pretty, but that's not the case. But we get to sit here and talk. And, all, and it's all because of the great works that they do. They do a tremendous job, and they're learning along the way. I mean, the technology and stuff that we have with this program and get to show, y'all got to see quality football, video, audio, everything last year, all the way down to the playoff games because of what these great students. And, you know, it's put on throughout the year, and it's not cheap, and it's uh, very expensive. We want to thank some of the great fine sponsors that have been year after year helping this program. We've got some of them back this year. We've got a few new additions, and we're looking for a few more, right, Mr. Gibbs? Yes, we are. Mr. Gibbs sitting right here. It's all, all It's always all about the Benjamins. But I do want to thank, you know, Running Rebel Radio and Fanning Rebel uh, TV is expensive, and we want to thank those great sponsors. Uh, ETC Security, Mercier Orchards, Kevin Painter Insurance, The Trailer Drive-In, Mountain Valley Community Bank. Certainly want to thank them. The Sweet Shop. 
Steve Tucker with Remax Town & Country, Tri-State EMC, one of our new additions, Woodman Life, Richard York. Richard York happens to be the husband of the best-looking athletic director in the state of Georgia. We can say that. And we got a new athletic director here, and uh, we're going to talk to her when she comes up here, see if we can't get our contract renewed, guys. See if we can get up on the money. See if we can get up on the money, if we can go to two bottles of water and maybe popcorn. <laughs> see, how, see how that works. <laughs> Uh, we've never been able to do that with Ramsey, never been able to do that hints, and we'll try our luck with Miss York, especially since we said, you know, all these great things about her. But uh, so we certainly want a big shout out to all the kids and, and everything for helping them make all this. I mean, you get to see quality technology and all this coming forward. But tonight we are here playing the Hayesville Yellow Jackets. Before we do, let's go back and let's talk about Gilmer County last week. Andy, what you think? It was uh, it was an ugly ball game, but uh, we came out on top. Yep. We uh, did. I think at the at the end at the end of the uh, third quarter when we let the JV play in the fourth quarter, yep. the score was twenty eight to nine, and I was reviewing some of it, and we had seventeen penalties for two hundred <laughs> yards, and I think Gilmer had more than that. Well, I said, you know, I I don't know if y'all heard the bad news. What's that? Greg Norton and Benny Crawford had to go to orthopedic surgery on Monday. They had arthritis <laughs> from throwing their flag so many times. Well, and then there was also, we, we had four turnovers. Yep. We, we had did. some un interceptions, fumble or two, and they had the same thing. They had yeah. fumbles and turnovers. It was, so it's it, it what you expected, really, a yeah. little sloppy game, but... Uh, the, but, you know, the you know our biggest problem, and uh, Reese was out last yeah. week, and, you know, Reese is good for a couple couple touchdowns a game. Well, just having Reese on the field, that's a oh, threat yeah. at any point in time. Well, defensively yeah. and offensively. Yeah. So, yeah. which brings up our discussion tonight is um, we got a quarterback battle. Yeah, we do. I mean, that's what I was going to say. I told Coach Cheatham today, I said, you know, look, we know Reese's capabilities. You know, he's he's going to do good on the field wherever he's at. I said, but I tell you what, I was impressed with Mashburn. You know, I know, take it back, you know, what, two years ago, Eddie, wasn't it? He had, a, what, foot injury? Yeah, he had a foot injury. Cost him a couple years. Uh, he was, he played well. A little rusty at times, couple yeah. of. Yeah. He couple forced of, a couple of picks. He forced in there. The yeah. linebacker undercut him. He did throw a couple of passes. It looked like something I'd thrown a yeah. couple of times and forced those turnovers. <laughs> but, yeah. but hey, I was impressed. He did, he stayed in the pocket sometimes in there when you know somebody else would belt out. Ran he, the ball well. He he did. And he did run the ball well. And that's that's the question is, and and we still we're working that out. Who's going to play quarterback? We're a running team. We're a throwing team. You know, exactly what are we going to do? We had the good fortune of having Luke Holloway for three years. Yeah. Yep. And we didn't have to worry about it, and he was he was able to stay healthy. Yep. So, uh, you know, now, now we've got uh, – and we've got some younger kids that are playing quarterback. You've got the Sullivan kid, and – You've Bright. also got, got the, um, Luke, Bright. Luke Bright's in there. So you've got Elijah some. Elijah Weaver playing. Elijah Weaver's playing quarterback. So you got a lot of kids in yeah, there in the mix. Let's talk about it. I know y'all know those kids way better than I do. And talking to Coach Cheatham this morning, I mean, just a couple of names. Hayden Lynch, you know, senior 6'2", 180. Yeah. He was talking highly on him. Y'all talk about him just a second. Yeah, Hayden's a big, long strider kid who is extremely fast when he, when he gets in the open field. He's learning how to play the game of football. Uh, he's a good route runner. He's got great hands. I went to a couple of camps. I think I think Lynch is a, pr a potential downfield threat, yep. which which we need right now. That was lacking Friday night. Not a lot of explosive plays. Had to grind it out. A lot of short passes. You know, tried to pound the ball a little bit. Yep. But Hayden's definitely a. You got to remember, guys. These young guys yeah. played a, a lot of snaps last year in the first four games. Yeah, they did. With the blowouts we had, those guys got a lot of valuable players. Yeah. I'm just gonna go down the list and in no certain order. Just talk about some kids' names that I've heard that I kind of haven't heard before. You know, Corbin Davenport. I know he's been around a little bit, but Corbin. Let's talk about him a second. Corbin's going to he's going <clears> to <throat> play offense and defense. So he's going to get to run the ball a little bit, but he's mainly a receiver mm -hmm. and a corner. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and he's probably Eddie is he a return man also. Yeah, he's a return guy. Started him at safety, uh, ended up moving him at corner last couple of weeks. Uh, 
He's he's a speedy kid, not a big tall kid, but is he really, fast as I am. He's he's as, almost as fast as Kevin Painter. <laughs> he's an athletic. He's an athletic <laughs> kid. Yeah. And going back to Lynch, doesn't Lynch kick also? Lance, we got probably two, two of the best kick. kickers in in that's, North in North Georgia. That is what Coach was talking about today. He said, "What? We even got a kicking battle, which is yeah. great because I think they're going to be punting as well, right?" I think they punt too. Punting, we struggled, guys, uh, snapping, deep snapping, the extra point. Uh, I, I'm interested to see how we long snap tonight on extra yep. points and field goals. That was pretty sloppy, wouldn't you agree, Andy? Oh yeah. We rolled a couple back there last week. That's got to improve. Well, the good thing about having those two preseason games, you know, back in our day we never had preseason games, so it's good that these kids get out there, get the little jitter, especially the young kids. Yeah, you know, Elijah ball. Weaver. I think y'all mentioned something about him. Talk, yeah. tell us about Elijah. Elijah's a young kid, a freshman. He's a, he's a quick kid. Uh, He's got great hands. Watch him receiving the ball. Is he a freshman or sophomore? I think Elijah's a freshman. Uh, yeah, he's a freshman. He? Yeah. Well, they misprinted this. It yeah, that, that's, that's a misprint. Okay. Elijah be a freshman. Uh, yeah, is he going to get to play some receiver this year? He'll play some slot type receiver stuff. Probably more defense than anything. Like you said, you got two freshmen kind of battling out at quarterback with Elijah and Sullivan. Both kids have done well, uh, and when they when they get a chance to get in there. Uh, that's good. Hey, you know, one kid, and I'm just kind of going down the list looking at names, one of my favorite kids on this team because he will go out there anytime, do anything you want. He's not going to be the, always the flashy star, but he'll do whatever you ask, and he's, he can play any work. Carter Mann. Carter Mann, absolutely. Carter's I mean, going to anchor that safety position for yep. us. You uh, can always, always count on on Carter. Did you just turn me down? Is that on purpose? Somebody tell you to cut me down over here, <clears> cutting down my mic and stuff, all that. But uh, going down, I know I heard Offensively, some Carter's going to play receiver offensively, yeah, too. Receiver. Is he? And, and uh, you know, Carter did a good job last year at quarterback. And, yep. And one of the unsung heroes on this team, guys, is Ricardo Harleanis. Rico, uh, Rico. Rico is one of the best pulling guards I've saw in many years here at Fanning County. He's a, he's a team captain. He's a leader. He's he's a great defensive lineman. He lived in Gilmer's backfield last week when he did get in on defense. Who is going to be the captains? I think your captains are uh, Sawyer Moreland, Carter Sorry. Mann, Seth Reese, Case and Owensby, and Ricardo. Ricardo. Is that right, Matt? And, and, and Dylan Collins, Pickle. The Pickle. Oh, I remember the Pickle from last year. There yeah. we go. But, yeah, saw him, uh, Sawyer Moreland. It's always, you know, he's going to be a senior. He's been playing ball here for a long time, but, you know, he's been a part of this team and a key part of this team. Yeah. You know, he, he's he's kind of another Carter man. You don't always sell, but they're always right in the middle of thick of things and do whatever you ask them and contribute. Carson Collis, again, you know, Carson was huge on a bunch of stuff last Carson, year. Carson Collis, in my opinion, fundamentally as a corner, is probably has the best technique of, of a young corner I've saw in a long time. He's really great with his hands. He's a tireless worker, uh, and, he, and he's going to play some – uh, probably Z receiver on the outside, a quick kid. Great Car Carson. I look for big things for him. He he is a good kid, and he, and he's he uh, he got a lot of interceptions last year. Do yeah. you remember he the did. pace game? He he really stepped up at the end of the pace game and had a couple of big time pass breakups in that playoff win. And and you know just on the field, the one that we another one we have to rely on. It really got us. Not that he has to really step up because he was huge last year. But Kaysen Owensby, Absolutely. we're gonna have to depend. You know he's a leader on this team, just a great athlete and uh, tough as nails out there. Yeah. You know the thing you have to do, Case, and I think you have to calm him down a little bit, or yeah. you gonna run over a wall. Yeah. Cason's trying to hit somebody as, as hard as he can every play. Yep. But, uh, you know, it's just great seeing a lot of young, young kids, and that was the thing Coach was, was talking about today. Of course, we got our good, you know, got Kate Sands back. That's great. Big time. Uh, and, uh, of course, Rico, you just mentioned, mentioned him. Hey, what about this cat right here called Case Holloway? Case Holloway, a freshman. I know we got to play some out there last week. Coach was, t you know, talking good about Case, so – Got another Holloway coming up. Yep. Nate Maloof. I know Nate Maloof. He's he's a senior yep. this year. You know, expecting a lot of good things out of him. So it's going to be good. Uh, you know, a lot of kids we've got to have to step up and take the place of some of the the huge losses we had. Well, if, if you're looking for returning starters that are probably, I would have to call them. Now we'll see as the year goes on. But if you're looking for first team. Uh, Region 7 AA. You know, it starts with Reese. Uh, he can play any position. Yep. 
you've got Case and Owensby, you got Logan Long, Rico, and you got Pickle. Andrew Waldrop. Andrew Waldrop is, is the is the new linebacker. middle linebacker, and you know uh, <laughs> that's what I thought. Carson has a twin brother Taylor that's going to start at center this year. I seen that. I was just about to ask y'all. I seen that name on there. Yeah, we're having to replace our offensive line. Should be Logan Long and Nate Maloof, and then you've got Jeremy Tamman at guard. Uh, you've got Taylor Collis, Rico, and Pickle. That should be your offensive line. Well, Quarterback, I don't know who they're starting tonight. Hey, and the good thing about it, you know, uh, we'd love uh, – you're going to see both of them play tonight, you know, from that standpoint. Yeah, I think you see Mashburn start at quarterback with Reese at F running the football, and then, then we'll see where it plays from there. You know, Eddie, we, we also have we, – we showed a lot of good running backs last week. Yeah. You, you we start did. with Case and Owensby, yeah. and then you've got Garland, you've got Green, Green yeah. you've got Holloway, you've got Callahan. Yeah. You've got Davis. We got a lot of kids that's going to run the ball, and it'll be it'll be running back by committee. Yeah, I think so. Pretty much all year. Yeah. So, or is that what y'all are expecting? You're expecting to see us run the ball more that we don't have Luke on the field. I'm, hey, you know we know Seth uh, Seth can can do that. I mean, he touched the ball. He's going to try to run the thing. Is that what y'all are expecting this year more? I I don't know what we're going to do. We're getting ready. <laughs> we're getting ready to find out we this gonna, week and next week. Uh, we threw a ball a lot last week, mm-hmm. Eddie. I mean, and we're, you know, we're we're wanting to be balanced. Yeah. Everybody wants to be balanced, mm-hmm. but you're gonna, you know, we'll we'll find out as the season goes. But, yeah. you know, receiver, you've got Carter, you've got Davenport, you've got Carson Collins, you've got Chancey, you've got Sawyer Sawyer Moreland, you've got Lynch. Who else, Eddie? Do you know? I mean, those are your primary receivers. Yeah, I think those are the guys that will see the football the most. Hey, let's flip over on the uh, defense side. Let's talk about our defense. You know, obviously losing Micah and, and uh, some of them on there. What are we going to see on the defensive side? Nose tackle, you got Logan Lone. Logan's, Logan's solid. Mm-hmm. You know, you he's, got, he's big. You've got to double team him. And uh, last week, Case Holloway good, played some nose. And then you've got. Uh, Bryson Fink played some nose. Yeah. He did a real good job. And on your tackles, you got Nate Loof, Jeremy Tamman, you got Isaac Davis. Uh, on the other side, you got Rico and Taylor. Taylor, does he play outside Taylor linebacker? Taylor some outside linebacker, end? and he, pl- he took a few snaps at defensive end. Yeah. And then on our linebackers, you got Walter in the middle, you got Sands, who is solid. Lynch is playing some outside linebacker. You've got Seth Reese, depending on how much they let him play backer. You got Case and Owensby. They ran away from Case and Owensby all last week. And Case and better get too. Case and better get used to it because that's what they're going to do. Yeah. I saw him one time. The guard and the tackle just went around the defensive tackle and double team Case. I yeah. think I think what I want to see out of this defense, losing Dalton Ross at defensive end yeah. was a huge loss. And yeah. losing Jake Sands at outside backer, both on that left side of that defense. Can we can we solidify that? We gave up a couple of long runs last week. Uh, yeah. we let some guys get get the edge on us a little bit. So, well, a lot now, of those kids are still learning to they're, tackle. They're I learning. mean we got a lot. That's that I tell you, it's just great. Back in back in the day, I always refer back in the day, you know, Football was a four or five month sport, yeah. you know, at bet, maybe five months at best. You'd be doing your weight lifting and work out. It is a 13 month sport now, just like it most is. all it sports. Yeah. Another yeah. linebacker, Sawyer Morland. Yep. Sawyer is solid at linebacker. Then you go to your corners. You've got Corbin Devonport, you got Carson College, you got Holloway, Bryson Holloway, Easton Chancey at the corners, and then you go to safety. We're probably going to play one safety most of the time, and that's Carter Mann. But who were we dropping in the other safety last week? I know Carson dropped some, but Lynch. Lynch will I think we were, some And that's we what we're talking about, Lynch. Yeah. Lynch can play anywhere. Yeah. Lynch can play anywhere. Athletic. All right, guys, let's take just a break. We're going to have our uh, national anthem and everything for just a second under the direction of Fannie County Band.
Please remain standing and remove your hats as we honor our great nation by the playing of our national anthem by the Fannin County High School Band. Well, a great job by the Fannin County High School Band. Hey, we've got a good crowd of folks here tonight for a uh, <laughs> first home screen. Yeah, good little crowd. There's still some people coming in, so we, you know, excited all about that. Well, yeah. I enjoyed it last week, Kevin. We played uh, played it like a regular ball game, yep. and uh, I enjoyed the JV in the fourth quarter. I only thing I didn't enjoy was at 10 o'clock it started the fourth quarter. <laughs> no. Well, I had a little side wager with my good friend Jacob Callahan and the Pink Pig from Ella J, and uh, I even give him some few points. And so he is still arguing and disagreeing with me. I, I give him 21 point, or 17 points. Give him the 17 points right now. I know you didn't see the score on the scoreboard because he wasn't doing that. But I said it was over to the third quarter, and he's still arguing. He won't pay his bet. <laughs> Well, I tell you what he did do. Uh, he helped us out with a golf tournament. Oh, uh, Jacob provided us with some barbecue, beans, slaw, and it was it was outstanding. They do a great. They're always oh, picking they do a great Hey, job. I better hush because he's uh, he's sponsoring or not sponsoring. He's doing our uh, class of '85. Ooh. Class reunion tomorrow that I'm a part of, that Eddie's a part of, but Eddie ain't coming. I don't know why. I don't know why. You did say you were coming, though, didn't you? I did. Yeah, that's probably the reason Eddie ain't coming. And Tracy Holloway. Tracy Holloway, he's prohibited. Tracy's prohibited. He can't come. But, no, it's kind of funny. Golly, been out of high school. We've been out of high school 36 years. You realize that? I didn't know you were that old. Well, let's talk about our coaching staff. Yeah, I was going to get to that a minute ago, and we talked about that. You know, a lot of things we're going to get to, but coaching staff, we've kept our coaching staff intact. Yes, sir, and added one. Added one. Well, we did. We added a great one. Y'all tell, y'all tell them about it. Yeah, go Andy, go ahead. Mr. Reese. Well, head coach, we got Chad Cheatham, and Chad's, Chad's doing good. He's chasing, he's chasing the all-time wins. So we had a good year last year. We got offensive coordinator. We got Turner at defensive coordinator. Offensive coordinator is Thickpin. So on, um, let's see, Noah, Noah's coaching receivers, correct? And outside backers. Who else we have on offense? Collis is a line coach. Nope. Alan Collis offense, defensive line. Kuna. Kuna on defense side. Kuna does he, defense. He's backs. secondary. Kuna is. The Kuna. Patterson. Coach, coach Patterson coaching D-line. Who else are we forgetting? What did what have they got Reese coaching this year? We got Reese helping with backs and tight ends. He's with the backs yeah, and he'll the be a ends. good he'll be a good addition. Well, Jacob's just a great kid. You oh, know, yeah. He graduated Carson Newman, played a little football up there, and coming back home and uh, you know hoping to be employed. Well, I know he's going to be employed. I think as Pair Pro this year. So, uh, what I heard, I don't know. But uh, going to be doing that, so it's a great addition. You can add, you can get these kids, you know, coming coming back. Hey, I want to have a big. Well, big hang, hang on now. We also every every game we got some middle school coaches that come up here yep. and help us. Ooh. Chris Hyde comes up and helps us, and we got Nathan Dean comes up and helps us, and uh, you know it helps. They they work in the booth, work on the field. Am I missing any coaches, Eddie? Matt, is that um, all of them. That's it. Yeah. Well, that is a huge key. You getting those young coach. You know, we're trying. The good thing, you know, Cheatham. This is what started his fourth year. 
Is this for, is this Cheatham's fourth season? It is. Fourth season. You know, so you got to develop that program starting at the middle school, getting on the same offense, same defense. So we're seeing the – you know, we obviously seen the rewards of that last year. Every year right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So – Every know, year. That's – that's where you want to start that program. It's got to start down there. And, you know, getting all these kids out when you have the success that we've had the last few years, kids want to play football, kids want to get out there, and that's what's great about it. But behind every good program is a good booster club. And we've got a great touchdown, you know, the the uh, quarterback club. Yeah, I don't call it this. The, the, uh, I'm missing here. The, touch- the quarterback, We call it the quarterback club. You do call it quarterback club. Yeah, we call club. it the quarterback club. Uh, and, Chad calls it touchdown club, but we call it Maybe that's what I heard him say something about that day. But what's cool about it, I sit here and look around the stadium, and there's at least probably, we well, got 60, at least 60 sign sponsors, 75 sign sponsors oh, yeah. here. Every every business that almost is a business is a proud sponsor of Fannin Rebel Football. Well, you can, we're just under 100 sign sponsors. Are we really? Yeah, we are. That, that is awesome. You can thank uh, Sherry Holloway and Miss Sullivan. Jennifer yeah, Sullivan. it's hard to turn. And Eddie, Eddie for selling, selling signs. They did a great job this year. But that's the other thing uh, we've been able to keep intact. I mean, we trade out positions, but you've got Candy Frank that does a tremendous job. Charlene does a tremendous hey, job. Amen. And uh, Kylie Brown does a great job. So we, we've got some folks. Those those particular people, Eddie, are not afraid to work. Yep. Well, and now, hey, let's just talk about it. I know Eddie's son's still coaching, but, you know, Eddie could have went off into the sunset a little bit like some the others. And, you know, Kylie Brown, he could have went off in the sunset and stuff as far as that. But everybody wants to continue to be a spot. It takes a ton of sponsors and community support to keep the program because, you know, what the school is allowed to fund the program is – you know, minimal minimal dollars, just basic, the basic necessities. Yeah. But to have all the extra things, you look down on the sideline, we got the, the uh, coaching tents, you know, underneath there where they can get there and get the pregame stuff, stay out of the sun. All the little extras are a key, and it wouldn't happen for the great community sponsors. And thank you all so much for, for uh, sponsoring the quarterback club. And, hey, I want a big shout-out, Andy. I know you've been running this show for, what, three years now? Yeah, yeah I, 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 don't, I don't do a whole lot. Uh, Andy yeah. makes it go. He makes it go. He's, everybody lot. afraid if they don't do it, Andy will be on them. But you do a great job, and every one of them does a – Andy, those it. signs look good. They do look good. I, I think I'm think i partial to one of them. I, I see a real good one down there that says Kevin Painter Insurance. I really – Right under like the that. scoreboard. Right under right the scoreboard, exactly. Well, we we uh, we switched up signs like this year. We've got those fabric signs, mm-hmm. and – we had we went out and got all new signs. The old signs were were cardboard, and when it came a storm, we picked up signs yeah. and put yeah. them back up. As we're saying, it's showing two minutes on the clock. I see the rebels peeking out of the uh, out of the locker room over here, coming out. I know we don't have the big huddle tent up tonight, but uh, they're marching onto the field, and we're we have got at least twice as many as Hayesville is going to have on the field tonight. So let's talk a minute. I don't know a whole lot about Hayesville. I did, uh, you know, I know last year, they did they get to have their fall season? They no. Did. No, they they played in the spring. They played a spring season. Yeah. So they're 20. I was looking. It looks like they went two and four maybe. Yeah, they've so, got a big tight end, Jake McTaggart, number 44, got some D1 offers. Yep. He's, he's easy to spot. He's about... Six 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 seven. Now I think he went over. Didn't he go over to Towns County play a little basketball and help them win a won a state uh, championship? Yep. He's back. He played, he, he played football over there too, didn't he? He they, did. Play and football. Towns had a good year. They yep. They picked up several kids and that and and that's great yep. because they got to, they got to play some good football. And uh, they they won the state in basketball. Yeah, yeah I know. Men's yeah, basketball. We, yeah, they were playing. They were coming down right after we were leaving Macon, you know, and playing down there. So, Rebels getting onto the sideline here. The sun is kind of getting to our back here a little bit. And going down, we're starting to cool down a little bit. Thankfully, I've already got the sweat rolling all up off us over here. I saw a little film on these guys. Number one is a kid to watch, Asher Brown. Real quick receiver, good corner. Uh, now, I saw one kid in a boot earlier tonight. I saw him dressed out there, number one. Hunting boots or what? No, he, he <laughs> apparently had been hurt. Oh, oh, I didn't know what you They got a junior quarterback, the Caldwell kid. You'll see these guys play a 4-4 with a lot of cover three, and they'll get in a 4-2-5 and, and play cover four. They're basically a cover three, cover four scheme. 
So we'll, we'll see. That's what they done last spring. So that could well, all change, guys. Who Eddie, I like our white pants with those jerseys. That looks, looks good. pretty good. I yeah. thought it was getting dark here all of a sudden. I realized I got my sunglasses on. I guess I can take those <laughs> off. And it's probably not as dark. It's, 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 it's a little lighter out here. I forgot it don't get dark till 9 o'clock. So we're about to take the field. I assume we're going to be like last week. They're not going to be returning any kickoffs. No, you know, but just they should, it should be just like a game except for kick. Kicks, punts. Looks like Jack Cantor is going to kick first. Well, he's he's Cantor. He's he's been getting it in the end zone some at practice. We'll see hey, what he's got here. In he did high a good school. job last week. Yeah, yes, he did. Well. Like I say, anytime you can put that ball in the end zone in high school. So we're about underway here. Start of the first quarter, 7.30 here tonight at Fannie County High School Stadium, taking on the Hayesville Yellow Jackets. And we're ready for the kickoff. We're underway. And let's see, Mr. Cannon's going to get the ball up. Good. End over end. is going to field nice it down kick. about the four-yard line. And here they come right up center. Yeah, I think you forgot. I guess just habit. You're going to get that ball and take off. So the ref blows it dead. And uh, where are they going to take over the 20? I think they're gonna take over twenty. Yeah, they'll spot the ball at the thirty. I think. Hey, we had that big. We had that big ref. We had that big ref last year. Then we have that big ref last year. Yeah, I remember him. Was Andrew Waltrip? Did he? Uh, did he have number one last year? He was not number thirty, wasn't he? I think so. Ah, so. Y'all know these cats better than I do, so uh, or should I say yellow jackets? I can't count cats. Yeah, we we must we have got a penalty for something. They're starting oh. on the 35. Is that, that is that Norton by chance? I think that's the rule. I think they'll start every kickoff on the 35. Oh, really? I think that's the four, man. I could be wrong, but I believe These it. ain't any refs we know, is it? Ryan's Ryan Norton's on the clock. What? Oh, well, Ryan they found the he play. can't count, so they had to have something automatic. <laughs> so here we go. The quarterback's <laughs> back in the spread for the yellow jackets. Low snap, hands off. He goes nice right play. middle. We wrap him up. Probably a loss of a yard, it looks like, on the play. Yeah. Good defense. That would be Tammon. Is that big Tammon in yeah, there? Yeah, Tammon. Tammon did a good job last year in JV. He was always in the backfield. Yeah, try a little inside zone there, and if you can't move that big nose tackle, Logan Long out of there, somebody's, oh, yeah. somebody's going to get tackled. That's a, you know, a Tammon. Logan, Logan eats blocks. He eats oh, blocks. my gosh. He's just a big kid. And he's a good kid. In, in and, Logan, he, and he loves it. He's yes. two, isn't he 290? At least. 280, 290, yeah. somewhere along in there. Yeah. So here we go. Second down and 11. Second 11 for the Yellow Jackets. They put a man in motion. Quarterback's going to hand off around the end. 20 gets some room, gets up two to three yards, and we bring him down on the corner by somebody yeah, there. The Looks like Kaysen tripped him up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Kaysen and Waltrip. Yeah. One of them finished them off. Andrew Waltrip. Andrew Waltrip. You know, Waltrip. Uh, uh, Logan Logan looks good this year. He looks like he's in the best shape he's been in so far. He does. Unlike you and I. Right. Okay, just making sure you. Hey, I lost good. 10 pounds. So what do you uh -huh. say? They've tried inside zone, Third. outside zone. I say they go to 44 in the scene. Third and eight. Yeah. That's they got to get the ball down the field. So he's, where's he at? There I see him now. He's coming this way. He's going to be slotted left. So, yeah, keep your eye spotted on 44 right there. He's on this and number slot one. on number this Number one can run now. All right, so here we go. Third and third and about eight. Quarterback's looking yeah, back to throw. Rolling. He's rolling out. We got pressure. We're getting right. a hand on him. Take him down. Rico Rico's. takes him down about the 25-yard line. Rico, you know we're going to hear those names. That's going to be a big name this year. Hey, for our success, it's got to be a big name. Him, Ultra, He's all down. of them in there. So that's good. So that's a big loss right there. Going to bring up fourth down. Yeah. Uh, Rico did a great job, Matthew Maloof, or Nate Maloof, Nate. I'm sorry. Matthew. <laughs> That's his dad. I know. I but know. Uh, Nate, Nate was uh, right in behind him. So the big kid, 44, is going to be dropping back to punt for them. Who's deep? Is that Davenport, I think? Is that Corbin? Corbin, maybe. I would say right? Corbin. Corbin Corbin's deep, on the far man. side. I don't know who's on this well, side. That's, hey, you can thank me for these. I don't know. I told Cheatham that we needed jerseys tonight. I said, y'all made it too hard on us last week. <laughs> it's either yeah. Lynch or Reese that, that, back here on this side. That's not. That's Lynch. It's not Reese. Reese is all taped up. What up we got here? Got right? Please on. What? <laughs> so we had a delay a game, but they snapped the ball up. Punter didn't even see it go. I know it was already dead ball, but. That was pretty funny. Kaysen was trying to block a kick. I, I don't know if he knows this is not live. <laughs> uh, this is not a scrimmage game to Kaysen. Mm -mm. No, Kaysen's a good kid. He loves it, too. He uh, he was frustrated. I talked to him after the ball game last week. And he was he was frustrated. He wanted he wanted more action. 
Yep, he's uh, you know, he got it. He got it just like from his brother, you know, trailing big kid here. So here we go, the fourth down, the punt. Got the snap up. Good punt. Good nice punt's going to come down. We're going to try to fair catch it and we bobble a little bit. We're going to bring it down about the 34-yard line where the Rebels going to take over. Let's see who's quarterbacking, guys. Looks now like we're going to know. David Masford. So Masford's going to be going over, so that means Reese going to be in the backfield, right? Yep, looks like Reese at F. How is Reese this week? I know he couldn't play with us last week. Uh, he said he told me he was good today. Well, I but say he's, he's, he wanted he wanted to play last week. I know he did. So uh, I mean, he's he's good every time we step on the field, whether he's hurt or not. Is that's exactly what he's going to say. That's what we'd like in kids. So first down and ten for the Rebels. Ball is going to be up about the 34-yard line. Mashburn back. Who we got in the backfield? Reese in the backfield. Reese in the backfield going to hand off the Reese. Sands he's got some room on the right. He powwows through for eight nine yards. Good little run. You know he just. Great run by Reese. He never, never ran hard. He just kind of paced right through there and run, hit a couple. Took Great a couple. Great block Cade Sands in there on the linebacker too. Big Cade. So here we go. Second, second two, second three. He's looking to throw. Maxwell throws out on the left hand side. We got nice room. Block. First down and more. We got. Is that Carter? Got, Cade got Sands out. with Cade another Sands. nice block. Hey, looks like Carson Collins. With Carson Collins caught the ball. Let's learn all these. Big first down for the Rebels. So. Yeah, Cade Sands out there made a good block. Yes, he did. So, yeah, we got to learn all these numbers. So here we go. First down and 10 for the Rebels. Balls up on about the 46 handoff Reese to Reese. Right. Reese just plows over a guy, hits the guy in there. One of our blockers already had that guy stood up. He got an arm on Reese, but Reese pushed him another couple yards. So good run there by Reese. You never see Reese go backwards. Nope. Nope. Six. Good kid. Second down and six. Mashburn looking to throw. He pumps, pulls it back down, rolls out. He's got a little pressure. Looking for somebody. He's going to pull it and run. He's got room up 35. Going to be forced out about the 35. David I believe That's he got a first down. Hey, and that was smart. He didn't have nothing open. He pulled it and turned it on around the corner. Great decision. Very smart decision. I did want to mention, I missed, uh, forgot a minute ago, but another good sponsor we've got picked up this year that's helped us a bunch last year, Go Green Spray Foam. Tim Wheat, Greg Reese, and the gang out on Highway 5. What is the coach complaining about? Did he call timeout? I'm not sure what the coach is. I wonder if he called timeout and didn't get it. Could be. Let's see. Let's see if the head guy comes and talks to us about something. So we're going to have... It'll be about second. They kept the down marker in place. I'm not sure if it's a, it's enough for a first down if it stands. He it is was, a first he was, down. Uh, it looked like he motioned. Somebody's blocking below the waist. Uh, well, good thing of it is these refs, they they out here practicing too. Everybody needs a little practice. So what? I know the refs coming over here to. Is he giving us? Okay, he's just going to position. I thought he was going to make some calls. Here we go. First down and 10. So we are going to have the first down. So we got trips out on the left hand side. Going to be Mashburn still in at quarterback. You know, the good thing having Reese back here, we can flip that thing at any point in time. He's going to fake the handoff to Reese. Mashburn going to take it right hand side and going to get a couple yards. He's forced out. Ball That's a good read. Yards on the play. Read by Mashburn. Yeah. Zone reads are perfect for his skill set, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So he's not had any residual issues from the foot. You don't see like, good and good. I'm glad he healed up I well. Think he's completely healed. Well, I mean, it took him two years and a couple surgeries. Yep. Second seven, Mashburn back to throw. He's going to get it inside the 10. Is that maybe Carter more? Man. That's Carter, Carter Man. Man. Right there, gone. Get up across the 30. Also known as Carl. If you hear us say Carl. <laughs> Carl. Carl. Carl, that's Carter Man. Is that the new name? No, that's been his nickname for a long time. Carl. It's third down and three. Third and three for the Rebels. Clock down seven minutes, 50 seconds. No score here tonight at Fannie County High School Stadium yet. Yet. Ball's on the 29. Rebels inside the Yellow Jacket territory. Back so we run the, behind Sands again right here. So here we go. Mash going to hand yeah, off to are. Reese Big right hole. in the center up there. Get across the 25. It looks like we're going to have first down. It looks like it is. It is. Picks up a Fanning County Rebel. First down. Good. Lucky sniffed that first down and got right there to it. Hey, they got a big old boy there. 
for Hazel. 59 is a big kid right well, there. Well, Hazel's not got a bad football team. Hazel doesn't have it, have much depth is their problem. Have, yeah, and that's what's going to really hurt and wear on them that third and fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah, they just got two playing about two weeks ago probably. Match from back, going to fake a handoff to Reese. Look, he's got pressure coming on. He scrambles, gets away on the left. Run the ball. He's got some pressure you know. coming up. He eludes, gets around the corner, going to run yeah. for a first down Touch and touchdown. more. Touchdown. Wow. Great run by Mr. Mashburn. Hey, yeah. just when we thought he was going to get pulled down. He, he's, he's elusive. Hey, he, he I have really not is. seen a quarterback he's... that fast since Matthew Queen was here. <laughs> That's true. Oh um, I mean, look at that. Man, he's like, golly, where did that come from? Where did that come from? His wife, he would agree with you. Yeah, he runs from he runs from her. That's where he gets a practice. Big touchdown by the Rebels. Good run by Mashburn. So we're gonna tick the extra point. Hey, kick us good up snap. and nice good. Kick. Great, great snap. Wow. You know that extra point almost went. I mean, that's a thirty yard little PAT. They kicked that thing all the way to the back of the track. Yeah. You know, Jack Jack Cantor uh, in JV last year. He played some. He played in the games. He's a pretty good football player. He's a he's really, a yeah fast kid. Yeah, he he, well. he could actually, you know, other than just kicking, and maybe they just want to keep him at a kicker. But he's a pretty good football player, and he's a junior. Yeah, that's what's good about it. But he's never played and and started kicking. And he's, we got him from the soccer team, didn't we? Yeah, he's a soccer kid, yeah. Lynch is a soccer kid. Lynch too. is he a soccer player. player. Yeah, is that uh, the Lynch kid? That's, um, God, Brandy Nim's son, obviously. Uh, Jeff. Jeff. Lynch. Jeff. I couldn't think of Jeff's name. There they say. Rebels up the big seven to nothing lead over the Yellow Jackets. Good ball position and everything. Good looking drive. It was a good drive. We look, uh, we look 100% better than we did last week. Yeah, we do. We, we've had 20 less penalties at this point <laughs> than we had last week. <laughs> so that's good. All right. Jack kicking off again. Jack's yeah. going to be kicking off. Ball that was, that was a, a very good kick the first time. Took, took it all the way to the three-yard line. He keeps that up. That, that'll be a weapon for us. Boom. Even Boom. Better. Big kick. Going to take it on the that's one. It, or that's almost end zone. A end yeah. zone. Great, great kick there. That's All right. A, so the yellow jacket is going to take over. Eddie's going to take over. You take over. You're doing play by play. Matthew's grabbed my headset. I'm getting out of the way a minute. Here. I'm just going to sit here and sweat. Now, no, you got to talk too, but this is Eddie's. Eddie. Hey, y'all get the luxury of me not being here next week, so that's what's great about it. <laughs> what y'all got? The rodeo? You've got yeah, the rodeo we do got our quantity, our twenty fifth annual. I'm glad you brought that up. Meant to talk about it a minute ago. Y'all do a good job. Over this that. is our twenty fifth annual, and we will talk more about that in a minute when we get a break. Hayes will start from the thirty five. Quarterback's looking to throw a little quick screen. Nice defense. Nice defense. No oh, block. Oh, oh, oh. Sands, Sands holds him up, and Owensby finishes the job. That hurt me. <laughs> Owensby cleaned his clock. Mm, mm. Wasn't anything illegal about it. No. Wow. Case, and that made him happy. <laughs> Maybe that took a little of the yeah. aggression out. He that just all I just seen is a head go rotating in there. Yeah. Looks like we got Bryson Fink in it. Nose. Yeah. Just giving Long a little break here in this heat. It is warm. I think we got Case Holloway in at right yep. right tackle. Case, Case in at defensive end there. 62. Is Bring that, a guy in the Yeah, that is big here. Case. Yep. Looking to throw. He's going to roll right. He's got the big tight end wow. for a catch and a first down. Wow. That's big McTaggart. Right, not bad coverage. Hey, that kid just drifted out there. Just yeah, drifted out there and they lofted ball up to him. It's, it was a good throw. We do have a penalty here. Holding. Think so? That's what I'm calling. Mm -mm. Or a legal procedure. I think it's a procedure. They're trying to explain it. Well, I, no, let's look at our chain crew. Who we, who we got over there tonight? So we got As always, we got Jim Ezell on the down marker. Yeah. I see Tracy Holloway, Pat Holloway. Yeah, we Bill Prather over there, I think. Yeah. And so 
Those guys have been doing it for years. They are veterans. And they do a good job. They do a great job. They, they keep the refs straightened well, look, out from if, time if, to time. If you can't get trained good by Jim Ezel, you don't even deserve <laughs> I mean, ezel has been around 122 years, I think. Reese in the ball game. Yeah. Reese coming in at linebacker outside. Reese going to come in and cover the, the big tight end. The tight end. Yeah. Tight end's hand on the ground now. Going to run a little outside zone. He's That's hitting the backfield. Somebody crashed down from I this backside DN and made a tackle. I seen feet up in the air. Yeah. Got big Tim Tal over there on the PA system tonight doing the announcing here at the high school. Tim does a good job. Oh, there's big Nate Maloof in there. Nate chased that thing down from the backside. Yeah, we, we're playing a lot of kids. We just put Taylor Collis in at left tackle. We got Rico at right tackle. I don't know who we got. Who we got at the nose? 60. I think that's Case Holloway at nose maybe, right? Uh, Case is, no, Case no. is 62. Who's 63? 63 is Nate Maloof. Nate yeah. Maloof we moved nose. Nate there over to the nose. Rico playing on. Hey, we got a blitz. Rico's getting held. Quarterback's got some running room. Didn't play contain. That a boy. Oh, wow. Nice play by Cade. Cade. That guy you thought was going to get away from Cade right there. Cade just broke down like he's supposed to when letting go. I think Cade's going to have a good year this year. Yeah. He had a good year last year. His brother had a great year last year. But he's uh, he's packed on some weight. He's worked hard. So yeah, he <laughs> looks he looks good. He's ready to roll. I'm saying, boys, always been tough football. Glad the sun went down. Yeah, it is. It's 10 degrees cooler. Yep. So we got fourth down. So Yellow Jackets to punt. Got a good punt off right there. Uh, We're gonna uh, punter's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Took a fair catch here by the Rebels. So the Rebels offense going to take over here now. Eddie. Well, while we got just a second, I do want to tell you about our Blue Ridge Quantas and Mountain Valley Motors 25th Annual Rodeo. It's going to be held next Friday night, Saturday night, just down the road here at our Quantas Fairgrounds. Gates open at 6, show starts at 8, and we need your support after the football game. There you go, Eddie. Here we go. Masburn looks like he's in the gun. He's going to quarterback. Reese staying in at tail. He brings a guy in motion. Bryson Holloway in motion. A little inside zone. Reese got a big hole in there running behind Tamman. Now, who is uh, – talk to me about Bryson Holloway. Bryson Holloway is a kid that was hurt last year. He's a junior, I think. Is that right? Yeah, he's a junior, 5'10". Yeah, yeah, had a knee injury last year. Okay. He's back healthy. Good hands, quick. Another nice little slot receiver guy. Second four. He's looking to throw the stick route. Complete out there to number 15. Sawyer Moreland. Sawyer Moreland. Hey, that was a great. You know, he was looking. That wasn't open on that corner and throw that. And there was Sawyer standing wide open in the center. It was a good read by Mashman. It was. A little RPO action. Yep. Mashburn looking for the tunnel screen, complete to Holloway. He's nice, breaking nice tackles. Run. Got a, close to a first down. He showed a little speed on that. And Rico's downfield 15 yards blocking for that tunnel screen. <laughs> hey, we ran that tunnel screen about 20 times last, last week, too, and we run it pretty successfully. We run it well. We got guards that can get downfield. It's a great play. We didn't run, have in the, run in the delay draw. And we got a false start on the back of some five. Had a hole there. Unfortunately, we got a penalty. That's a little like the sprint draw that they used to run with the back in the days when they ran the eye. Yeah. It's going to back us up five. We'll be second in about five. Rebels run a little fast-paced NASCAR package last week and was effective. They're kind of taking their time and huddling up this week. Well, we've got some different kids in the ball game yeah, too playing we're going receiver. Trips left, and we're going to wow. level it out here to Reese on the edge. Ooh! I would mm. not want to meet him one on one with a ten-yard no. run at me. No, a defensive player did a good job coming up and hit him. That had to be a little bit intimidating. Twenty-five, absolutely. 
Like you said, we're in NASCAR. We're ready to roll. Now we're going fast after the first down. Kind of Clemson style. Get a first down and go fast. Toss it out here to Reese. I've seen him working on this play this week. It's going to get about three. A little quick pitch out there. Action to Reese. They're going to bring him out. Let's see who comes in at running back. Austin Garland's coming in. He had a couple of nice runs last week, Andy. He's a smaller back, but he's a fast back. Nice little hole, and he squirts through it. Breaking tackles. Look at the little guy. He's going to. Eddie, what, what year is he? I think he's a senior, right? Yeah, I think he's a senior. He's got some quicks. Yeah, he does have some quicks. It's going to be third and about two going fast again here. Garland stays in the backfield. Mashburn looking to throw. Oh, he's got, he's he's got, got open. Bubble. He's got the post. Going deep. Got nice play. Touchdown. Nice play. Corbin Devonport. That was for He knew what he wanted right there. Hey, you got to give Queen credit here. He called that right back yeah. there. Yeah. Thank that was you. a nice play, Matt. That uh, <laughs> he, he lobbed it right in over the safety, just dropped yeah. it in there. Corbin, Corbin was open from the beginning. Offensive line done a great job. Unbelievable yeah. job. All, Unbelievable job. All day to throw that ball. Let's see if we get another Bryson clean coming snap. in at tackle. These clean snaps. I believe they worked on. Make Cheatham happy. I believe they worked on snapping some this week. I can't see. Is it Taylor Collis snapping now? Can't see who's deep snapping. I can't tell who's the long snapper. Yeah, both both of those were clean. We struggled a little bit last week at that. I was afraid we was going to have to get Jim Callahan out here to teach him how to long snap last week. He could do it. Jim's been in the hospital with COVID. Glad to see that he's getting better. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. He's a big part of our tri-state crew. Yeah. You know, Eddie, um, his last two kickoffs uh, have been impressive. Absolutely. He's got it to the three, and, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a big deal when you can get it down there and they can start on the 20-yard line odds-wise. There, you just don't get that many scores from that deep in your own territory. I, I think that's worth seven points a game. It is. That's a game changer. Yeah. yeah. Big I, time. I think it's seven points a game easy, if not more. Hey, he's added eight to ten yards, it seems like, on his oh, kickoff. Yeah. yeah. Easily. Uh, I agree. Ryan Davenport back deep. He did a good job last year. He just looks like he's confident now. He does. He's going to pooch this one high and a little short. And that's all right, too. Yeah, absolutely. Dawson the main catches the ball for Hazel. Hazel just kind of getting overmatched up front. And the Yellow Jackets will take over on their own 35 yards. They are. Let's see and it, it ain't going to do them any good in this heat. No. No, it looks like they, I think uh, they've got maybe 22 on the roster or something. That's a that's tough on a night like this. And we're playing a lot of kids. Who we got? 55, 56. Yeah, Fannin Rose in the, a new nose guard. 56, in. Jesse Davenport. Jesse Davenport. 78. In. Yeah. Who's 78? 78, Jake Dyer in at right tackle, and I don't know who's at left tackle. Yeah, Jacob Dyer's a nice looking young freshman. Boy, he blowed that up right on that left side. Yeah. Nothing in there running the football. The D line is, is just blowing it up at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I think in there at left tackle, um, you've got Bryson Fink. Bryson Fink's a good-looking ball player. He is a good-looking He's a big player. kid now. Yeah. Tell you what, fellas, I, we got some good-looking linebackers good out there. Yeah. They, they some size across across the middle of that field. Hey, we've got a good group of kids here tonight. A lot of, a lot of students down here tonight, a little student section. Hayes, we're going to keep a back end. It's going to be second and 11. He's going to fake the give, throws a little slant to Asher Brown. He's tackled immediately. We do have a flag. He picks nice up play by Sands. Nice play by Lynch. Sands nice seems play to be. by Sands is a really headsy ball player. He, he, he reads everything well. Let me tell you something. When you can come from left to outside linebacker and hit and catch the Stand up pass over here on the right hand side. You're yeah. you're getting across. Yeah, the field. you got Sands at the weak side linebacker, and you got, of course, Casey playing that strong side. We're we're solid at backer and Waldrop in the middle. 
got an ineligible receiver downfield. Down that was quick. The you know, Eddie, while we got a little break here, uh, let's talk about rec ball. We had a bunch of kids come out for rec ball this year. What what'd you say? You were having difficulty finding helmets. Yeah, we, we struggled finding helmets. Of course, there's a shortage of materials to mold helmets. Luckily, we got them in. We got 140 kids playing rec oh, ball. Oh, wow. Now. That's so, a lot of kids. That's a lot of kids. That's a lot of kids. So we picked up, really I mean, that's roughly speaking, that's uh, six, eight kids per team. I mean, I know it's not. Yeah, there's a. Uh, we got teams from first grade all the way through sixth grade. It goes K-1 and then second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, and sixth grade. All those teams have about 20-plus kids. We have one team with 30, 30 kids. a boy. Nice open field tackle by Reese, I believe. Tries to swing it, out for, swing it out to lunch for the tailback, and he's upended there by Reese. He gains. Maybe four yards, looks like. It's third down and nine. Eddie, you said one of those teams had 30 kids One on? of those teams has 30 kids. So Holy cow. Yeah. And, and those numbers were up across the board, all the agencies in North Georgia. I, I guess COVID hemmed a lot of kids up. Yeah. And they're ready to get out. And, uh, and When do y'all you, you have your jamboree? Jamboree's next Saturday. So we start here at 1130 is the first game. Uh, come out and eat a hot dog and watch football. We'll, we end under the lights around 10 o'clock. Another flag on the play. Into the first Let's see what we got. Against the Another false oh, start. Minute four. A minute four. four. A minute four. One point KP's four. back here saying, minute four. Matt, you coaching this year? No, I took the year off. I'm one and done. One and done. That great defensive I had up there in Panther you did, Land. You did have great defenses in Panther Land. Fanning County 14, Hayesville 0. Fanning up 14, nothing into the first quarter. Nice, clean. I don't know that Fanning had, we got one penalty maybe? So that's cleaned nope, up a had, lot. Yeah, well, yeah, hey, we've had way less penalties than we had. Way less penalties. Everything. Hey, again, while we got a break in the action here, I want to talk about our great season sponsors already on board. And tell you about that, our ETC security, Mercier Orchards, Kevin Fanning Insurance. The Trailer Drive-In, Great Biscuits, Mountain Valley Community Bank, The Sweet Shop, Steve Tucker Remax, Town & Country, Tri-State EMC, Go Green Spray Foam. We want a big thanks to Tim Wheat, Greg Grease and the gang, and Woodman Life, new sponsor, Woodman Life, Richard York. Certainly want to appreciate them, but, but we have more potential. So if you'd like to sponsor Rebel Radio and Fan Rebel TV, sponsorship cost $250 per year. 100% of those funds benefit the students of the Technology, Technology Student Association. So for more information, contact Bubba Gibbs at the high school. Or if you can't track down Bubba, holler at me, holler at Andy, holler at Matthew, shoot us a call or text because we certainly want to support these kids because let me tell you something, this program, if it wasn't for them and the great program that they do, you wouldn't be watching this tonight. You wouldn't know about fanning football. Some of you getting to sit there at home eating pizza, drinking iced tea in the cool air condition because of this program. So let's help them out. If you own a business in our community, let's get on board and help help this program out. Always looking. It takes a lot and stuff. And, you know, I don't know if Bubba knows this yet or not, but we we probably going to try to do a, a little road game somewhere along the way if it's not too far. <laughs> Look, at he's laughing and giggling back here. So we got third down and 14 for the Yellow Jackets. I looked over, I thought, uh-oh, we're gonna be offsides right there. We got a little, who was that, Casey? Well, their receiver jumped down here as well. Okay, so that's what they're gonna I don't get. know which one they're well, gonna call it on. I can, well, He's pointing at number four, yeah. Against the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, so I, Casey, Casey wasn't gonna miss, I didn't think Casey was gonna miss that by that bad. Casey's always right. Did you see uh, Casey, I was telling Matt yeah. last week, I know you wasn't there, but we were wearing practice jerseys, didn't have any numbers. Kaysen came out. He had a big X across his chest and an X on the back. That was his number. That was the third down and 20. Quarterback's looking to throw. He's got a great pass. Open guy. Oh, tried to get it to number one. It was just a little bit underthrown. Hey, he was open. He had him though. open. He had him open. Joe sure did. That could have been a handful of trouble right there if it had been just a little bit higher pass. I was sitting here wondering if they was going to turn the lights on, but I guess they are on. 
But the good news is I got my sunglasses off, so it is a little brighter. <laughs> it lightened up a little bit. It for lightened you. up a little bit. So that's going to bring up fourth down and 19. Fourth and 19. McTaggart's back to punt for the Yellow Jackets. So here's the snap, low snap. Punter gets it and gets a pretty good little punt off. We're going to fair catch it down at the, about the 44. So we're going to take over first and 10. Corbin takes the fair catch at the 44. You know, you honestly think about it, though. These kids really from Hazel, they just got through playing football two months, three months ago. Oh, yeah. Three months. I mean, so the spring April, all of North April. Carolina. They just got through in April. I know we were going up to Murphy back in the spring, and I looked over, and there was Murphy playing football there. You know, Murphy's had some changes. They, Yeah, the coach, coach is no longer there. Defensive coordinators up at Union, Union County. Union's okay. playing southeast tonight, I think. Here we go. First down and 10 for the Rebels. Mashburn's back. Going to hand off to number 12. Got a big hole up the center. Got room. He's got room. Still running over guy down to 30. 25 before he's brought down. Who was that? Garland. Garland. That's Garland. Good Lord. He came through there with a the burst like a bullet running he's through quick there. Now. Austin Garland, yeah. great run. Garland and Green are both quick as he a took that, He took that thing from the 44 down to the 30. I mean, that's what, 30, 34? 31, 32 yard run right there. Great run. First down and 10. Rebels threatening we got quick. Jason Pearson Here we go. in there at running back right now. Mash. Turn it up. No. Pearson rolling out number three incomplete. So Mashburn just about time. Oh, it is Mashburn. I thought you said Pearson was in Pearson, quarterback. Pearson's in it running back. Oh, I thought you said quarterback. I thought I just messed that one up. You did great, KP. Oh, I, I'm, every now and then I'll make a mistake. Every now and then. Is that right? No, no, that's definitely not. Hey, we got some number mix up here. Big Tim Tao out here trying to figure it all out too. That's Eleven. what I just said. I don't know who that is. I don't know. What number? Two. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. I don't know, but here we go. Second down and ten for the Rebels. Eleven twenty-seven to go in the second quarter. Rebels up seven. Maybe Green. Ashburn up. Fake handoff rolls to the right. Looking, looking. Got a guy open. Throws to the corner. Watch the penalty. We're going what, to, what is the pass penalty? Passes complete. Going to be forced out about the eighteen nineteen. Let's check. What the would penalty. the penalty be? Let's check the penalty. I don't know, it's on this back side here. What number of green in this be. thing? We're trying to figure out who 24 is. For us? Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. What's the call? Mm, we don't know. Something on us. Cheatham didn't like it. I it's see 25 down there. Cole, Cole Green is usually number 30. Y'all asking for just great number jersey. 24 they is, might have switched it up. Number 24 of is Pearson, on, according to this. It is. Roster I got. So we got second down and 15. Match from back. Hands off to 24. Around the corner. Got room. Got a good block. Got three or four more yards off that block over there. Got Cole it out Green. back to the 20. Was that Cole, Cole Green? Green? Tim Tao has officially said it's Cole Green. The, which one? 24? Mm hmm. Yeah, apparently Cole was supposed to be in number 30, but I'd say we might have had uh, uniform difficulties today. Could have been, maybe got muscled up too much and couldn't fit. What was your run right here, fellas? I'm going to give it to Reese. Just, well, we ain't got Reese in there. Hey, third and five, I mean, God. Yeah, Reese, he Reese, Reese is in there in the He's in the slot. 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 He's going to yeah, get the ball. Way. Oh, we, no. No, he's going to. 20 little oh, flip they're out pass. Call it blocking blocking. On race, holding yeah. on race. Oh, we got to watch the penalty here. We got flags everywhere. Out yeah, there. he called a little holding on. I don't know that that was Reese. That may have been. That was Reese. Yeah. I didn't know if it was him or Lynch. I tell you what, uh, Lynch looks good out there, fellas. Now, to not have played football, he, he's aggressive. He's never he played football. Mm -mm. Really? Soccer. Stud wow. soccer. What grade's he in? Senior. 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 And I, you know he's sitting there thinking, man, I wish I'd have played all these other years. Man, I wish I'd have played all these other years. So, here we go. Third down and five. Third and five. It's going to replay the – why are they not mocking off the penalty? That's what I'm at. They're fixing to. Yeah. You know uh, – Fixing to. Fixing. I'm fixing. You know, Kevin, our offensive line, left guard, left tackle, still intact from last year, but we've replaced the center, right guard, right tackle. I mean, you got big dip. You got, as you, I call him Dylan Collins, y'all call him the pickle man right the pickle. there. The pickle man. He's just big. He's a big old boy. 
He is a big kid. Yeah, and then you got, you know, I mean, he makes he makes Ricardo looks small right there beside of him. So here we go, third down and 11. Third and 11 for the Rebels. Mashburn in the backfield and looking back. Garland in there with He's him. He's got, oh, got a little tunnel screen here again. It's open. We got it across center. Going to be first down and more headed to the end zone. That's Lynch. Let's see what he does. Touchdown, Lynch. Oh, how about that? Lynch. Got his first touchdown. He did. He there reached his career. Did you see him reach out there with that foot to get that pile on? Yeah, he's, hey, got, he knew. he's got some speed, too. Oh, Man, there's a flag. flag. Oh, no. Is Greg Norton out here tonight? He Hitting? might be. Mm. No, Holden. Oh, God. Home fan. Oh, the Golly, bum. Well, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I, well, his I mark was they, right there. Which ref, about, which ref was that? I need to take about notice. 24. Far That's side. Far. far side. He is permanently banned from Dairy Queen, too. Let me just make that night. Well, what do you got here? In third and 17. Third and 17. Ball spotted up here on the 32. All right, here we go. Ashburn back in the shotgun. A and B divide. Looking back, looking downfield. He's got time, got time. He's going, going deep. deep. Got somebody. Oh, oh, fighting over the ball. We got our hands on it, but it's going to be incomplete in the end zone. I think our open, our other receiver is a little more open over here. In coverage. Who was that that went up to try to get Carl? Carl. Boy, Carl. Carl, and then we had... Who was the other receiver over here? Number two. That was Lynch. Lynch, Lynch was over there. Lynch was... I think he had a little, had another uh, step. He held, he held the ball just a little bit. So here we go. It's going to bring up fourth down. We're going to practice our punt, fourth. our pooch kicking, or are we nope. going to go go for uh, it? Well, we're we're going to run see. that fourth and 17 play. Well, yeah, hadn't you seen the fourth and 17? <laughs> We've got a lot of those. Yep. Got to work on them. Uh-oh. Timeout. Timeout. Uh, Cheatham, Cheatham jumped in there real quick to get that uh, get that timeout in there. Yeah, so next week, is, like I said, a big rodeo weekend here. Y'all can expect a little bit of rain. Obviously, we always have rain at the rodeo. But what, we're going what is the big thing y'all do? Uh, can we get the, like, the Holloway boys to have pin the tail on the... Oh, well, we would love what, to have... What, what night is that? Is that both fight? nights. Both the nights. The steer dressing contest. Steer dressing. We'd love to have the Holloway boys out there. All they got to do is just take a little small steer, put him down on the ground, put some pants on him, a shirt on him, a hat on him. Easy. Easy. Like that. What is the other one where they try to take the, the bow off the tail of the... Oh, that's the calf scramble. Is that where the kids we do have, it or what? We have, we have kids calf scramble. Oh, we have ladies calf scramble. We, we're full. We have the full meal deal at the rodeo. Kevin knows how to do a rodeo now. He does. He 25 does. 25 years of experience. Good Lord. I was a kid when we started that. But All it's right. been a great success. <laughs> fourth and 17. Here. Here's your fourth and 17 play. We're going to see what that is. We don't know what it is, but it's going to be pass. He's back looking to throw. They're putting a little pressure. That's going right deep. Uh, going deep. We're going to be incomplete. Hey, the line held up real good there. We didn't let them yes, get they did. there. Line, line give him all kinds of time. So the ball's going to go over on downs. To the Yellow Jackets, exactly 10 minutes to go, exactly 10 minutes to go for the uh, for the Rebels here. So we got Fink at the nose, and fellas, we're, we're changing players. The only people that really aren't changing a whole lot is our linebackers. Yeah. We've got the same linebackers. Secondary seems to be playing the same, but our our defensive line changes regularly. First down and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. They've got extra back back there. they got a new quarterback Boom. in there. Extra quarterback. Boom. Hand off. Oh. Oh. He gets up. Great run. Gets up eight, nine yards. Who was that? Well, I tell you what. If you'll get somebody, if we can get Emma or uh, somebody to get over here and get that piece of paper that, that was over here. That was Holloway. Holloway almost hit that one right in the mouth. Yeah, he... Come you right come over here. Come, come sneak through here and see if you can get this right piece tackle. of paper right over here. Yeah. yeah. Case, yeah. We he almost lost, hit that one right we in We have mind. lost our Hayesville. Case, Fink, and uh, Maloof. It's yeah. Second and two. Second two. Look at Emma. Great. Emma almost was able to walk up underneath the table. She didn't even have to bend down a whole lot. Thank you, Emma. Second and two. 
Yellow Jackets back, new quarterback in there. Ooh. Hand off. Oh, he got nailed, stood up. Going to be a loss of going to be a loss of a yard right there. Who was that on the lick? Number one for us, Walter Walter's in there and had somebody else. Kaysen plays through the echo of the whistle. So we got new quarterback in for them. Logan Caldwell is the. Here comes big Logan Long. Long. Hey, we're going to play him at defensive tackle. He's stood down in three. Man, we got a lot of beef on that defensive line right there. Where's the beef? Yeah, it's right and, there. Him and Fink are, are good-sized kids. We're going to move Case or Maloof. Yeah, Case, Case goes to right. nose. Three fifteen. He's 6'3", 315 pounds. That's where the beef's at right there. Oh, yeah. Timeout, Yellow Jackets. All right. Timeout for the Yellow Jackets. Emma, you did a great job. You stayed in here with us last year. Had a great, you know, we could have said part of the success last year was due to having Emma here. Now we've got a new one recruited. What's his name? Logan Martin. Logan Martin. Logan joining Emma in here. I said two of the great kids here from the technology department in here helping us tonight. And we got we got some other camera kids down here. Who else we got? Uh, her name's Alex Kurt. Alex, Alex Kurt. She's down in the end zone. I know running the – that's a huddle cam and everything, too. So, we got her. We got anybody else? Not that you know of, but, hey, it's great seeing these kids out here helping the staff. I see Mr. Gibbs down there talking to them. You know, Mr. Gibbs just out here, he, he don't get paid any extra to do this. he got such a great interest in the kids. Very smart and gifted instructor that helps out these kids up here at the high school. Does a great job. The only thing bad I know about Bubba, he is a Georgia Tech fan. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, could be worse. Could be a Tennessee fan. Third down and four for the Yellow Jackets. I that one, didn't Third yes, and four. Yes, you did. All right, so quarterback, quarterback, middle quarterback draw. Get, a little draw and gets around did the left side. Did not get the first down. Now he's short. He got a couple yards. but Trying to get their first first down of the ball game. It's going to be short. Did they complete a pass earlier for a first down? They did, didn't they? This might uh, be their second. Did I just talk one. you out of it? Yeah, I believe you did. Okay. <laughs> I knew the, the, look, the look you gave me. What are they, they going to punt it here? No. No, not in the scrimmage game. You going to go for it and turn it over right here? Kids need some confidence. What, you yeah. talking about our defense? No, I would run a little sweep here. If it oh, were I would run it, yeah. Got big number 20 for them, good sized kid in the backfield. So here we go. He's back in the shotgun. Fourth down and one. Fourth and one. Uh oh. Uh -oh. They get us to jump. Oh, uh, did they get us to jump? No, nope, time, time out. But he threw a flag because was too, time was running out. But They were trying to get us to jump. That's what they were hoping for. It feels good out here now. Sun it is. Went down. Good. Yeah. Kevin to, took his glasses off. Yeah. After all it's the, getting really dark. After all the it's all, okay. After all the sweat stuck to us in here, that's real good. Felt like I was in a tanning bed up here. Oh, 50-50 raffle. Uh, raffle. We got a chance to win some money. Go down there and get you. Hey, our band is down here selling 50-50 raffle tickets. And <laughs> hey, she got her. What well, she got her? An ice cream there and a raffle ticket sign. About, did uh, Jabbly ever get you other contact? Or you still <laughs> got one? Got I'm one. the one. I'd wonder Because Chris told me he'd get you another one if you no, wanted No, I only need one. I got one. <laughs> I, I never. I only only need person one. in the world that needs one contact. One contact's all I need. They put that second one in there. You know, they tried to do that <laughs> monovision. I'm like I'm like a drunk driver walking or something, you know. <laughs> all right. What's the fourth down fourth play? Fourth down and one. We're about to see. We're trying to make them jump. Here we go, handoff to, oh, fake handoff, 20 to a little throw over the center, mm. incomplete, incomplete. Like trying to get it to McTaggart. Yep, that's who I've been trying to get it to, so the Rebels can get the ball back. Got a, they got a kid out there that got banged up a little bit. with a You think we're going to go on a go right here? Might as well. Might as well. <laughs> talking Might about, as well. Talking about Chris Jabley, I had to give the man a big shout out. Austin this week. My son Austin had LASIK surgery. Ooh. He was blind as a bat. I mean, he could not see a foot in front what, of him. What, did he just not tell nobody? He, no, he's been wearing contacts and glasses five or six years, but he turned 21. Eyes got stable enough to get it, and so LASIK. Here see we go. what we do here. First down and 10. Mashburn's still back there going to hand off number 18. Garland. Great run. 
Great run. First down for the Rebels. Who was that? Garland. That was Garland. Garland. Yep. Man, he's fast. Yeah, he's Garland, Garland and Green. I just need to know. All I need to know, if I see somebody fast running the ball, it's going to be Garland. Is that what you're trying to say? The, the G brothers, Garland and Green, both have, have great speed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. First down and 10 for the Rebels. Ball's on the 31-yard line. Seven minutes, 16 seconds to go. Rebels driving here. Mashburn back. Oh, he fumbled a snap. He picked it up. He's going to get around the right-hand side. He's stiff-armed. Gives good. Takes a lick. Gave a lick. Back. He gave a lick. You're exactly right. You know, it's kind of like Postel last year. Postel had great speed, too. Mm -hmm. He did a good job running Makes a bad snap. Well, up the middle. Yes. Yes. You know, that was good uh, Good concentration by Mashburn there. You know, a lot of guys would have just jumped and fell on that. He was able to pick it up and at least get it back to the line of scrimmage. But no, Austin had Lasix last Friday, so Jab Lee worked him in, you know, with college and everything. He had to do his post op. So big shout out to Chris, Jen. They're great community partners, help a lot of folks in the community, even though he's a tech fan too. It's second and nine. Second nine, second nine. Another high snap. Going to hand off. We're trying to get out on the corner. Got a little speed. Going to get up. 21 is getting away. Flag's going everywhere. I think we got a face mask. They're going to, they still can't bring him down. Cole oh, Green, oh, they still, they finally, they tried to, he tried to do a little rodeo action and, right there and wrestle him down. Cole Green had a good run last week. Great run. What's the flag, though? We're going to have face masks. What? Yep, it's on us. Maybe it's not. But he had the ball on about the, I don't know, two, three-yard line, and uh, the defensive back from Gilmer came up and just tattooed him. Mm. And he just bounced off. Yeah, he did. I remember scored. that. That's like we thought he was going to go to the ground. You could, he couldn't have hit him any better than he hit him. He just didn't wrap up on him. All right, what's our penalty, guys? It's against us. I know. I didn't see the white hat. Well, I thought it was a face yeah. mask. I didn't know we had him. Uh, you know it's going to be a holding. Or... What was it, Emma? Did you see it? Holding. Holding. Look. Man, I am impressed. We got to clean that stuff up before next week. Yeah, we do. Second down and 10. Emma has seen replay on it over there. That's what it was. She caught it. Second 10. Gonna have got another penalty. Going to a false oh, start. Come on, false start. Yeah. You got Reese in there playing H-back right now. And he's just, he's selling those those backers. That's why Garland's getting, getting some good runs. We got a good freshman running back, Kevin. Uh, Ricky Callahan's grandson. I, I have heard about Callahan. Yeah, he's a, he's a heck of a baseball player, too. We just keep Callahan. Is that Carson Callahan? Yes, sir. 5'8", 150 pound freshman. All right, it's a handoff to Garland again. He gets up center. Got, man, he squirted through. Got 8, 9, 10. No, he got about 12 yards. Look at the line on that. Wow. Rico came around. He flattened one to two guys. Just laid them we got, up. We got, Excellent job. Yeah, got 10 yards on that. We eat up some of that negative yards from that penalty, so that was good. So ball's going to be on the 25-yard line, third and four for the Rebels, third and four. Let's see what we're doing here. Mashburn looking on that. Got trips out there on the right-hand side. He's coming back looking throw. Got pressure. He's got it. Oh, he steps up in the pocket, gets away. He's going to take it for a first down. Going to get hit and go down. Great play by Mashburn. Wow. Stepped up in that pocket like a quarterback's supposed to do. He, look, he looks more comfortable tonight than he did last, oh, absolutely. last Friday. Absolutely. And he'll, he'll get better as, as the season goes. Did you on. ever do that, Matt? Could you ever step up in the pocket? Or was you I just run it for my life. There you go. All right, here we go. Match on the right. Turn it side. up. Look, turn it up. He's going to toss out there, too. We got it complete down about Reese. the Reese. Reese, Reese or Lynch? Lynch. It's Reese. Yep. Him and Lynch about the same size. I thought he was going to turn that up, too. So we're down inside the five now. Look, they're going to spot it on the four. So first down, first and goal for the Rebels. Five minutes, 36 seconds to go. Mashburn in the shotgun. Garland back. Going to fake the handoff. Going to throw quick. Oh, ball's batted down. Big number 56. Nice play by the defense. That was a great defensive play for him right there. We still got people coming in the stands. We've got a great crowd here tonight. You know, they're charging tonight for the scrimmage game. Uh, $5 a head, I think, trying to help make up for a little lost game from some revenue last year from COVID. So 
way cheaper than those state playoff games. Mm -hmm. It all goes to the quarterback club. Oh, is that paying your salary? School was nice enough to uh, donate the money to us to help us out. Well, they should. Hey, big handoff touchdown, Rebels. Reese. Reese just plows in there. They try to tackle him. He stands him up. So, Rebels up 20. Looks looks like Jill Holloway may have. May have just stayed on as a team photographer in the she end zone. Did, I see her down there. <laughs> well, she's got another Holloway coming up. You know, it's the Holloway descendant. No, she, she doesn't have any, but she's got some yeah. nephews on her way. Well, she's got Case out there yeah. playing now. Well, that was my point. Who do you think I was talking about? All right, well, so extra I point. She might have had another kid or two. Extra <laughs> point. <laughs> the canter. Uh, extra point. <laughs> Cantor Cantor really looks yeah. good right now. <laughs> he uh, he looks confident kicking he does. the ball. Uh, hey, it's great seeing the. You know, know, last year there was a little off between the snap. Well, and, that was his first year. Yeah, yeah. He did. And right now he's he's if you if the guy's not getting it down, he's kicking it anyway. You got that right. Hey, if yeah. you, you can put the ball. You can make a 35-yard field goal in high school. That's that's yeah. good. I mean, and we we. With, with his, there. We with the way, he's, 40 yards. the way he's approaching the ball, we should be able to kick some field goals this year. Yep. Mm-hmm. So Rebels up, big lead, 21 to nothing. Great play here now. But you did, you said it there a minute ago that Mashburn is looking very, very comfortable. I did see him, you know, last week he was running, running for his life there a couple of times. But uh, he, he's got, he's got great, he's got great movement. He's got great hips when he runs the ball, and he. Uh, he was really playing well and hurt his foot, and his foot didn't heal right. Mm. And it just, I mean, it was it's two years since he's played. Well, I admire so, a kid like that after a, a bad injury to work hard and get back out the field. He could easily just said, yep, yeah. I'm done. Yep, all right, so but kick no. off. Oh, big kick nice way kick. end over nice end. Going to take it down to the one Couldn't yard line. Couldn't get any better than that. Wow. <laughs> Kick it to the one yard line with some with some air under it. Yep, that was good end over end kick. So they're gonna take over on the 20 yellow jackets. We're shoveling a few shuttling a few people, not shoveling, but shuttling a few players in and out there now a little bit on defense. Carter's still in there at safety. We got Corbin Davenport here still on the corner. Saw your own end. So going to be first down and 10 for the Yellow Jacket. Balls on the 35, 524 to go in the second quarter. Got Levi Crocker in at right tackle. So a little pass nice out here to number four. Play. Great defense. They got it out here to number four for the uh, – got the ball down to Isaac Candler, and he's wrapped up. Nice defensive play, Jesse yeah. Davenport getting out there from – from his his line position, that's pretty that's pretty impressive. Yep. Second and nine, second and nine. You know now Cherokee County, those schools are going to consolidate here next year, the year after, a couple years. They keep saying that, but no, I, I, I no, haven't seen I've it happen. Official, nope, I got the official word on it. Uh-oh. I'll tell you about it. Official. Second down and nine. Quarterback back to throw. Garland got a guy open. Gets the big McTaggart 44 nice across the 50. First down. Carter did make a good tackle. Yeah, good open call. field tackle right there. That's a good good play, good catch, and good 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 pass for the Yellow Jackets there. No, I listen to that little radio station sometimes in the morning up there out of Young Harris, and they cover a lot of that. But I think it's 2023, 20, maybe, that they're all consolidating. And I don't know if Hazel, I would assume. I know Andrews, Hawassi Dam, all that. A lot of big controversy and all that, you know, going on up there over that. But first and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. Ball's on the 47-yard line. Going to hand off to number seven. They gets up two to three yards, bounce up to about the 45. I know I know their basketball ought to be impressive, consolidating with High Wasey Dam. Oh, yeah. Why is that? Uh, High Wasey Dam's always good. They're they always got, good in basketball. But they still have our, you know, the coach that we got from up there, the girls coach, uh, was here for several years. Klontz. Klontz. Klontz, I, he retired. Klontz, I don't know if Klontz is still coaching up there or not. He retired? Klontz was a good man. He, he was a good coach. Yeah. Good deal. Second down and eight. Second and eight for the Yellow Jackets. Ball's on the 45-yard line. 
Quarterback Garland rolling out, rolling out, gets a good little pass complete on the corner. Nice tackle. The 40, good tackle. Good little Who's read. Reese. They got it over there to Asher Brown. Reese, Reese make the tackle. Mm -hmm. Andy don't believe me, but he's still looking. Yeah, I, I can't see between hey, two and five why don't you on go these to, numbers. Why don't you go see Dr. Chris Jablin? He can hey, set you he, straight. Him and Russell won't work me in. <laughs> Well, you can drop. They won't you, neither, hey, they won't can, neither one of them. Yeah, they say you can, you every can, time I call them, they say, they, "Oh, we've already got too many customers." No, you can drop your teeth off at Russell's. Come back and get them. That's why <laughs> they'll they'll help my mom, but they just tell me they got too many customers. Well, she's she's better paying than you are, probably. Third down and four. Third and four for the Yellow Jackets. There we go, quarterback. He's looking back. Throw. Got boy, pressure. Rico. Come on, Rico, coming on. Going to swat nice and get. He got away from him, but not before he tripped him up a he little bit. He is a terror off that end. Yeah, I enjoy yeah. watching Rico play. He, he made some good plays last week. Got his hands out, you know, and just went from tackle to running back. Quarterback kept rolling. I thought that's a bad idea. Fourth down for the Yellow Jackets. What do we got, hey. Kevin? 218, 216. Now, look, next week I won't be here. Y'all better plan for rain. Because rodeo will be here in town. Is it's it rain going. every rodeo? Yeah, we've had out of 25 years, so that would be 50. Well, you know, we had three last year, and one year we had a bull ride. So we've had about 55 events, I guess, nights of rodeo and bull riding. I promise you it's rained at least 40 of those, some shape or form. Huh. You know, I like this. Uh, I like the fact that over the last several years they've let us expand to two. You can either play a game in the spring, spring or you can play two games in the fall and uh and when they play it like this it's it's pretty much a regular game except for kickoffs and punts yeah. and uh, a lot of kids get to play you get you get to work on a few things you don't have 17 penalties by the time the season starts we hope we hope we hope we've point. had a few holding penalties tonight we got to get that cleaned up mm -hmm. All right, fourth down and five, fourth and five for the Yellow Jackets. They're going for it, obviously. Got, watch the tight end here. Got Big Four. McTaggart out here on the right. We're in there looking like we're going to blitz. He's back to throw. He's looking. He's trying to find number four. We're going to intercept. Oh, oh, we almost intercepted there. Who was that? Oh, Carter? Carl. Yep. Oh, Carl Carter, man, almost got up there and got the ball. Good defense. So Fannin, Fannin's going to take over the ball up there. So it's going to be first down and 10, 209 for the Rebels. Rebels up 21 to nothing. What's that? And it's a great time to talk about, again, our sponsor, season sponsors again. I'm going to go backwards. Woodman Life, Richard York. Thank you. Go Green, go green Spray Foam. Uh, Tri-State EMC, Steve Tucker with Remax Town and Country. The Sweet Shop, Mountain Valley Community Bank. The Trailer Drive-In, Kevin Painter Insurance, Mercier Orchards. ETC Security, thank you all for sponsoring the program all season. And we got room for more. Just reach out to Bubba Gibbs or shoot one of us a text or call, and we'll tell you how you can help out. So Mashburn looking back to throw, roll around, got some pressure, trying to find somebody open, throws it low. Is it complete? We we'll call it complete. I think he skipped it. Yep, good play. I, I, I think he skipped it too. That's what your coach saying, but they're going to call it good over there. I've, got a, I've got a score here from Chris Williams. Dalton 7, Pepper 7. We got Chris Williams giving the scores. Yep. He must ha have a 204 to go in the second quarter now. That's probably two and four. probably been a little while. Here we go. Mashburn back looking to throw. Is that still Mashburn? Yep. All right, so he's yep. looking to throw. He's got some pressure coming on. Going to turn it up and going to get tackled. Ooh, that was kind of close right there. A little late. But yeah, a little late. Going to force him out about the 49. Yeah, that's what coach is talking about right there. Hey, he hit him over in the white. I've just been corrected also. I forgot about Jill Carter Mann is yeah. his her nephew yeah. too. Exactly. Ooh. All kinds of family out there. Andy, get this right. I'm with you. Correction. Well, I'm with from you. you uh, <coughs> uh, let's see what we got. Uh-oh. Did we just have... I don't know what we just had. To do. Well, there's a storm in the distance oh, and what we're trying to figure well, out. I was there we go. Look at that. That a boy 21. Come on. Let's go. Run the ball. Get up 34 yards. Easton Chancy. <laughs> Chancy up there. Easton had so showed minute, a little speed there, didn't he? Minute 20. Where little, do we got a storm at? That right over there. I know. 
Yeah, oh, it's, it's, up it's up outside. It's outside the distance right now, and it's probably moving away from us. Yeah, up on that line, it's going to run on that. Boy, we're almost off sides. Mashburn looking back to throw. He's got big McTaggart coming in. Going to throw down. It's, oh, it's going to be nice out of bounds. Nice catch. They're going to call it. Yeah, out of bounds. That was great a great catch. catch that was a super great catch. Good pass and throw. Yeah. Bryson Holloway made a good little grab. Made a great grab. Uh-huh. Well, we don't want no rain. None, zero. Get that next weekend. Yep. 107 to go. 107, and we got Mountain Valley Bank officially on board. I guess they felt guilty when I mentioned the name. That's one way to call them out and get money in it, Bubba. Second down and 10. Mashman rolling around. We got a little push in the back right there. He's going to throw wide open nice number play. four. First that down, he run it, hit one guy and run over him. Who was that? Who was that? Bryson Holloway. Yes, Bryson, Bryson Holloway. Holloway. Oh, there's. You see that? I, I did that. see that. Yeah, it's little, going around us, though, right, Andy? Well, it's, it's outside Andy, the distance. That's what Andy, that. Uh, Andy, you need to go see Dr. Chris Jabley. I'm with you. You need to go see Dr. Chris Jabley. Yeah, I think we're going to have a little. We're trying to get to well, the it's, map. Well, it's outside, it's outside the range, we're according going, to the map. We're going to try to get, if we can get 57 seconds in here. All right, so here we go. Mashburn looking to throw. Oh, almost. We got, got it. Complete the number four right there. Got go, it down go, go. to number 10. Let's go. Hustle up. Hustle up. Clock 48, 47. Yeah, we got I seen that little crack of lightning. I didn't see it. Well, it, like I said, I don't know what Long the range ways is. Away. Here we go. Mashburn looking back to throw. He's got pressure. Steps up. Keep the ball. Run it, run it, run it. Oh, throws back oh. in the zone. Almost. We were fighting for it. Fighting Two people for it. in the so same 30. spot. Ball's incomplete. It's going to bring up third down. Third down. Ball's on the 10-yard line. Yeah, let's just get to the half, and hopefully that moves on towards North Carolina. Keeps moving. See what's going on here. So here we go. Third down and five. 30 seconds to go. Reese up the middle. No. Mashman back looking to throw, looking to throw. Cross center, got a guy open. It's going to be Boom. Sands. Pound, 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 pound. Boy, oh, Sands. Golly, he got it down to the one. Nice run. And two guys on him. He was about to overpower him. And finally the third guy come up and knocked him back a little bit. He was almost in there. 22 seconds to go. That's a nice play. That was a nice play. Yeah. All right, Coach, don't call too long a timeout. Reese, Reese ran the wheel route over here. Linebacker went with him, and we, we slid Slip Sam right, right there. there. Yep. Nice play. What is that? So who, who is the new coach at Union? Michael Perry. He was East Hall, came over. Came over, and then at, it, how many coaches right, stayed? Or did get a bunch? A lot of the coaches left. There's maybe one or two that stayed. Um, some went to the middle school. Uh, you still working with the FCA program up there? Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. So, uh, good guy. Brought it, he, had, he brought in three or four coaches with him. At a FCA golf camp over at North Georgia this year. I don't know if you know Bill Dando. Oh, and, well, I know Bill. Bill. know Bill real well. Bill's been a big supporter of my kids. He's a, He's great a good guy. guy. He is. FCA, great, great. First program. and goal. Here we go. First and goal. Mashburn's going to hand off to Reese. Reese is going to step into the end zone for six points. He just walked in there. Nobody wanted to tackle him. Touchdown, Rebels. 20 seconds to go. Rebels up 27 to nothing. Right here before the half. Well, let's hope this storm just keeps moving on down. Keeps moving on away. Keep moving on. Pickles down. snapping. Is you really? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Who we got kicking? Still got Jack? Mm-hmm. Canter, the ball's up. And the kick is good for that tackle on the next that's point. Nice. That is 28 nice. zip. Extra point is good. He just stepped right in there and just popped it right in there. So Rebels with a big lead, 28 to zip. Is that zip. the new storm or the – when are, when are we supposed to get the hurricane in here? Monday and Tuesday it's going to hit around. It's going to come in here, get away from the rodeo. <laughs> it's coming. I didn't realize it was going to come. Then it's going to clear out, and it'll be beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, for, beautiful. Our, for our game against Union beautiful and the rodeo. For, and the rodeo. We're going to have the first ever. Well, we've had it happen a couple times in 25 years. Two nights out rain. This is going to be the third one. Me and Matt may come by after the ball game. Matt's a fool about funnel cakes. How long do y'all stay open? <laughs> as long as we need to stay open if y'all are coming. We will be there. Rodeo don't get over to about 1030, 1045. It depends. All right.
Okay, we go. First and first and ten. Uh, what am I doing here? Kicking off for the Wait Rebels. Up. Ball's going to be down. Twenty seconds to go here. Rebels going to be kicking off. Nice kick. Boom. Good kick. Nice Broke kick. That ball nice into the end, end zone. zone. There we go. Touchback. That's, that's all we need. He's yeah. flirted with it two or three times. And you know, right there on the one. So you know, that's kick. that's over the what last two or three years we've struggled with that. Where, you know, who was it last year? I guess it was uh, Fitzgerald kept kicking the ball in mm -hmm. the end zone. Oh we were starting on the 20. They were starting on the 35. Field exactly. positions, everything. I'll tell you, well, I'll ask about that before we talk about that. Well, you can talk about it. We're, no. we're okay. We're, we're perfectly fine with it, Andy. Yeah. But Union rolls in next week, right? Right. It's a home game the for us. The Panthers. Here we go. First down and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. This may be the last play of the half. Kid left early. Rolling out. Trying to look. Gets Holding. the ball. We got a penalty. Going to pass is complete to number seven. About seconds. 45. There is a flag on Five the seconds. That's a holding. Ticked off. It. Well, we got a holding. Holding against the Yellow Jackets right there. Holding right tackle. Brian Norton is not running the clock. Play is he clock. on the field? Oh, he's running, running the play clock. Oh, in there? Yeah, right there. From there. Oh. Whatever you say. Trust me. I, I am not, I'm not <laughs> denying. Oh, I see now. Yeah. I see. He's down there. He's down mm -hmm. there next to Big Reese. Big Reese. 15 seconds to go. So back them up. Penalty. Not bad. Back up about the 21 yard. 830. Line. This, we're doing, we, oh. we would have been about through at the first quarter last week. Here we go. Garland's going to come back. Rolls out. Looking to throw. Going to pass the ball to open guy. Got 44. Get a hat on him. Big. Big tight end. Got We're going to try to oh, tackle right there. Yeah, Who Corbin Davenport eight? with a tackle. Nice tackle Corbin Corp. Davenport, good tackle. Good tackle right there. It's going to be a first down. Two seconds to go. Please. Oh, oh no. Got to be holding. <laughs> I'm just laughing down there. Shannon York, the new athletic Illegal director. man. She's got a lot of responsibility now. What's that? Shannon York. Shannon's going to do a good job. Yeah, she is. She's very well liked. She's a hard worker. Hard worker, very approachable. Good Fanny County girl. Yeah, got a good family, good husband. She's going to do good. She, she's been in the school system for a long time. She played on one of the champ the basketball I think she's teams. Going into, I think she's going into the Hall of Fame this year. Yep. Uh, you know, hey, this uh, next Saturday, Laney and Luke, uh, both got sport, uh, the Fannie County Hall of Fame athlete, uh, male athlete of the year and female athlete. Awesome. So here we go, into the first half. Rebels up 28 to nothing at the half. Great, great halftime score right there for the Rebels. They're going to go in, going to go in to the half. So uh, let's hope that we get through here and don't uh, uh, have any rain coming out. That's what we're hoping for. It sure is thickening up over there a lot. So we're going to break away here for you at the half, take a little break herself. Now, we're not going to have any music, are we? The band's not playing anything. Emma, are you singing anything at halftime? Oh, the band is playing. My bad. It's just going to take a little bit. Where are they at? Oh, they're on the other side. So great. We're going to be breaking away. We'll be bringing you back here just a little bit. Thank you for joining in to Fan Rebel TV. We'll be back in about 20 minutes for the third quarter. Let's leave here. Oh, it's 
Scores of interest. Final score, McMinn City for 14, Copper Basin 7. At halftime, Dalton leads Pepper 14 to 7. Halftime, Sonora 33, Gordon Central 0. Ringgold 17, Dade County 2 on the first one.
saving money for a new one. Huh? Oh, really? All right, I believe we're back to live action here at Fanny County High School Stadium. As the clock's winding down here, the, both teams back out on the field, stretching, loosening back up. And the good news is we think that lightning is going away from us, right? It is going away from us. Good. Slowly. <laughs> slow. Well, as long as it don't come close to I don't care how slow it goes away. As long as it goes away. So Rebels got a big lead here, 28 to nothing. Racked up some points. Bad Play, played a lot of kids. We did. We're going to play some more. I was sitting here watching quarterbacks warming up. Get a little like Luke Bright. May get to see him a little bit. Good, strong arm out of a kid right here. <coughs> Probably reminded both of y'all of yourself back in the day, right? Oh, yeah. With yeah, a strong oh, yeah. arm. <coughs> I mean, there's not, there's not there's not been as good a versatile quarterback since Andy Arp, though, Matthew. Oh, I agree 100% I mean, with that. He could punt. He could play safety. He you got could the tearaway jersey. Oh, my I could, God. I could throw interceptions with the best of them. He was the real <coughs> deal That's back heat in the early 80s. That's heat light. Now, they, they was in a, there was a teacher up here at high school who told my daughter, Laney, there was no such thing as heat light. I don't know. I'm just telling you what to say. But, again, I do want to tell you. Here's what I do want to tell you. That was heat light. Lay it on us. I do want to tell you about some great sponsors that we got that's making all this possible. <laughs> yeah, we've come already on. Got, we've already got it ready here. We've got a rain plan action if we need it. But some great sponsors. And we've already picked up one tonight just by getting to hear Matthew and Andy on here. We well, we actually here. picked up two. Johnny Chastain uh, gave us a go-ahead for a sponsor. Well, looky there. There you go. United Community Bank coming through, but the main one, Mr. Philip Ledford in Mountain Place Realty. Good job of them. So, uh, you know, hey, thank y'all all of our sponsors for helping this technology program. You're getting to sit home tonight and watch this game because of them. Unfortunately, you have to listen to us, but, you know, it could be worse. Could be worse, but we do want to thank those great sponsors, ETC Security, Mercer Orchards, Kevin Painter Insurance, uh, The Trailer Drive-In, Mountain Valley Community Bank, The Sweet Shop, Steve Tucker, Remax Town & Country, Tri-State EMC, Go Green, Spray Foam Professionals, and you could be next for if the price is right. $250, right, Emma? Good deal, good deal. So we're about to get things back kicked off right here. It's finally cooled down a little bit. We can, me and Matthew can get a little closer to Andy, not that we really want to, but we can get a little bit closer since he's cooled down a little bit. He's like a big heat lamp over here a little while ago, wasn't he? I am a heat lamp. A big heat lamp. A lot of me to love. <laughs> so the question is, is what, what are we doing in the second half? We're going to play starters. We're going to keep rotating kids. We're going to put the JV in. Should be interesting to see. Well, you want to get those kids back in. You know, we want to get those other players in. And, and you know, Hazel's got to be – They they'll come out here for four or five minutes, but then they're going to be tearing – you know, getting very tired, I would think. Well, you, you've got to believe they're in pretty good condition, but uh, – in this weather, it's going to be difficult on them. I said they got to be. I mean, they just got through playing football three months ago, two months ago. They, they came were, ready. They probably had they they had a season. Then they had spring training a month ago. So they're they're in ready. Oh, they're in peak form. There's more heat lightning, wasn't it? Yep. Well, it, it's got to be so many miles. You know, if it gets within a certain mile of the school, they've got to shut it down. Yeah. Shut her down. So I, I saw a chart earlier, and we were the lightning was outside that. So that may be way off in in Murphy. We used to, yeah, you can't. It does. I think it's off. way out there in Murphy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you uh, have you got any scores, Matt, from Union? I Who are not, they playing? They're playing Southeast. I think they're tonight? playing Southeast. I'm sure they're doing pretty good. Home game, away game. Andy, I can't even tell you that honestly. All right, the clock pretty bad, is off. It? Well, Union did start school this week, didn't you, they? They, start, they started yesterday. Aren't you there a you Union go. County taxpayer now? No, fan in all the way. Oh, I thought y'all had to actually. No. no I won't Let's see who we got. We got Callahan back to receive a kickoff. I can see him. And I don't know who that Davenport probably. Oh, that's Holloway, I think. Holloway. Uh -huh. Holloway showed some good speed tonight, made a couple good catches. Boom. Good. A hey, good kick there by the. Yellow Jack Kicker, we're going to take it on about the nine-yard line, and they blow it dead. We get to come up in the formation a second before they blow it dead. So here we go, boys. Yep. We're going to start back on offense to see who we got. Mashburn coming out. Mashburn, Mashburn coming Reese back out. Reese coming out. 
We're coming back with the starters. And we'll sub in from there. So we got 24. We got a different offensive line in. 24 mm -hmm. minutes of football left to play. And we're missing a couple of them. Because <laughs> they got the 67, 68. They were eating popcorn over here on the sideline. Like me. Dongaloo goes running in there. Chris is a good guy. Ooh. Boom. I don't know. Here we go. Snap. Mashburn back. Quick throw. Pass out to number two. Lynch. Lynch. Good catch right there. Get five yards on the play. Mm. <clears throat> we go. So just like that, one quick pass. Bam. Five yards. Keep it mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a long ways. It just looks like it's close. Well, we're so high up in the sky box. Right. Guys, that's what we're seeing it better. Anybody? Oh, a little busted play. Mashburn tucks it and goes straight forward for a first down. That a boy. He, boy. Was, he was looking for somebody to hand it off to, and there wasn't nobody there. So he, smart play, pulls it takes off good good play here we go we we're hustling right back up on the line we're not wasting time so a little little hurry up right there what do they call this package nascar when you get up to the line real quick i call it speed yeah we're last for no he's got pressure going to flip it out there on the corner first down who's oh he's eluded a tackler right there and keep running who was that lynch, lynch. Yeah, we ran we ran that same play that we ran down here um, at the goal line. Ran Reese out on a little uh, wheel route, come across, but we let him drag all the way across the field. So we should have had, we should have recruited Lynch a few years ago. We got a score tonight. Titans are beating the Falcons 13 to three. Shocker, How about absolute that? shocker. First down and 10 for the Rebels. Ball's on the 37, 38-yard line. Bash from back, looking to throw, looking to throw. Got a little pressure, rolls to the right. right there looking downfield, gets the pass mm -hmm. incomplete, throws it out of bounds. Good idea. Good idea. Nice play. Good idea. Matthew, is that gum really that good? It is. I'm, I'm going to. I can tell everybody out there. Can you all hear what flavor of gum Matthew is chewing on? I couldn't. I couldn't <laughs> hear it. You could it's because his microphone's turned up so Sound loud. like a horse over there eating corn. Sounds like to me, but second How's nine, Andy? Second and ten. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what, did y'all run the convenience store at halftime? We rated it. Yeah, second down and ten. Balls We're all on sides. 30. Yeah, we Big are. Here we, here we go. So, hand, uh, fake a hand. Oh, we did get the handoff. I thought it was a fake handoff. They're going to wrap him up. He gets loose. Marcel threes. Gets back up. Gets three or four yards out of the deal. That's, wow. that's him. He was just he is, his, he's a hard guy to get on the ground. He's, a spick, he's just picking his spots and getting in there. So he'll be third down and about a five and a half, six yards. I still don't like this marking half stuff. So Mashburn back throws it quick out here in the flats, number 49. Cade Gonna Sands. Have Cade Sands got it up. Cade. Got across 25. Wow, he punished a guy right there too. Good play, Cade Sands. First down, Rebels. Rebels threatening down here real quick again. Ball's on the 25, 10 minutes, one second to go. Mashburn back, going to take the snap, going to hand off up the middle. There's Garland wide up the middle, fast spinning, trying to get him down. Great run. I thought he was going to break loose. Who was that? Austin Garland. Garland, I thought it was Garland. I thought they said Austin. good, Kevin. That's good. My memory's not gone yet. My vision getting a little blurry right now. My mind is good. So here we go. Ball's on the seven-yard line. Mashburn take the snap. Going to quick pass back out to Sands. Touchdown! Sands. Kate Sands. Great play. He was is, a great play. That was a great play. He's a big old boy. Hey, he, he's been in the weight room this summer. Wow. Yeah, he has. He definitely has. He, he's, he's, he's ready, put, he's he's ready, ready to work. roll this year. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely put uh, in the work. Let's see what we've got him listed at. No weight. What Y'all got one with the weight chart on him? No, no I don't have a weight chart on my... <laughs> On my <laughs> roster. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> Andy's got a homemade one, but his is very reliable, much more reliable than mine. Probably more reliable than Matthew's. So extra point yep. attempt. Kick is up. Kick is good. Beautiful extra PAT. I tell you, our kicking game is so slick. So slick. slick. Rebels up 35 to nothing here. Nine minutes, 37 seconds to go. So Rebels come out, take the ball, drive it down. Quick touchdown. Good job. 
And there's Mr. Scott Barnstead joining us up here tonight. Just come by checking, making sure we're behaving ourselves. Being under band director. Hey, you know what's good about these little spring games too is you know that gives the band a great chance. They get to practice a little bit in real situations. So there you go. Did y'all y'all have calmed down a lot at halftime? Did y'all what y'all do? No, I'm just uh, I'm just looking out here and at the heat trying to figure out what we're doing, who who's where, and what what's going on. I went ate pizza. I knew no, I, I done knew that. something got you calm down. Got you ready to take a nap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice and sleepy. All right, so we got big Jack Kanta fixing to do the kickoff again. Here we go. Seven to nothing. Union County Old Panthers score. over Seven. South. Seven to nothing. Rebels fixing to kick off right here. Let's see if we can get this one in the end zone. Boom. Let's go. It's coming. Nice kick. Boom. Touch back again, two in a row. Three out of three out of five. Three out. Is it three out of five? I didn't know he got to know. I know he got last two. That's awesome. I guess no. I missed one somewhere. My, made my mind. There was one issue. down here. Oh, that was when Eddie. That, that was when Eddie. No, that was near the Eddie. Eddie stand. Where did he go? I mean, we give him a part-time job with no pay, and he's left us. He went Eddie's, to, Eddie's watching ball game. Ah, I can hear him up there. We don't let those. Eddie does a good job out at the rec center. Yeah, he does. All he those does. guys, Spargo, all those guys do a great job out there. Uh, Tim got, Dial. It's good to have that many kids in a program, too. Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. What did he say, 100 and how many? 44. First and 10, Yellow Jackets. Ball's on the 35. Oh, Bumble! where's the ball? I think they recovered. Ball was squirting around on the ground down there. Big McTaggart, I think, got back on the ball. Then it go. I think they got a couple yards out of the foam. There you go. Well, that's one way to do it. Nine minutes, 21 seconds to go. Rebels 35 to nothing. Second and eight. Nate Maloof played a good ball game tonight. He's done a good job at, at defensive tackle. Matthew and Allison's son, correct? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, there you go. Got to know your kids, Andy. Come on. Second down and eight. Second and eight. Carlin's going to be back, going to hand off around the corner. Number 20, 24. Ooh. Nice tackle. Quick, nice tackle. Quick little Carter. Spin. Yeah, Carter, Carter man came up strong. Carter did a really good job of that last week, reading the play and coming up the line of scrimmage, making the tackle. He came up fast. He came yeah. up real fast on that. Made that. It's 35. Third Is that 54 or 64? Third quarter, Scott Pullum. Seven, Union County 7. Uh, tied up in Union County. Union County 7, South. They say southeast or Southwest? Southeast, southeast, I think. Southeast. Is there a Southwest? Yeah, no. if you yeah, want I don't even it. think South. I don't even think they call it Southeast anymore. I think they just call it South uh -huh. Whitfield. Uh -huh. Rip. Third down and five. Quarterback's rolling out, looking downfield. He's got pressure behind. He better do something. That ball, he steps back and gets out of the thing. Oh, almost intercepted. Oh, boy. Tried to get it out to number one. Who was that? He tried to get it over to Asher Brown and then one of our players. Collis. Collis. Nice breakup. Nice yeah. recovery. You must like that, Emma. You must know me. <laughs> Getting excited up here. You could tell he rolled over here and they set the line. He was going to throw back. He just didn't pull the trigger quick enough. Fourth down for the young. Hey, if this is Emma's second year, does that mean she's a veteran now? She is a veteran. Got there, right? She's very poised. I've noticed how much more comfortable she is. And just cool, calm, and collective on the camera tonight. Fourth down. They're going to go. Fourth. Oh, yeah, here we go. They got two. Oh, handoff. He's trying to fight who we stood him up. Yeah, he ain't going didn't. nowhere. No, he's going to have a work. big loss on the game. Who's in there? Big number 49. I know that's Big Gate Sands. Sands. Gate Sands. and who else? Logan Long. That kid's a host getting up of real. Rebels. Kid's yeah, getting a host real of Rebels. Slow. Number 20 is like, golly, don't let them hit me again. That hurt. His name is Taylor McClure. He's a sophomore. Welcome to football, oh, son. Quarter is by Donald Curtis, so Rebels going to take over the ball. First down and 10. Luke Bright's checked in. Luke Bright, there we go. Hey, I want to remind you, if you want to go to the rodeo, go out and get your tickets at blueridgerodeo.com. You can buy those tickets online, save yourself a couple bucks. 
help out the Blue Ridge Kiwanis. Blue Ridge Kiwanis going to help out a lot of kids. That's what we did. First down and 10. Ooh. Oh, running somebody in off the field. Timeout. Got timeout. Got a whole new crew in there. Jackson Davis is in the backfield. We do have a whole new crew in there. Mm-hmm. But we still got our same chain gang on the side. Yeah. That is Tracy over, isn't it? Yes, sir. Tracy's gotten a little fatter in his old age. He used to be skinny. He was. We used to call him We got 63, man. 60, 62. Jacob Dye. Yep. Case. Mr. Holloway. Chris I, G. I think Nate's still in there. We got a lot of kids out here. Let's check these all out here. So, Britt, Bright's back in the backfield. Is that who we got? Yes. We do. All right, here we go. Here's your chance, Mr. Bright. Light it up. Let's see if we can get a bright light here. Here we go. A little flare out pass. A little bit overthrow. Try to get a little speed pass out here to 33. Daryl Carpenter. He just moved in, didn't he? 33. Daryl Carpenter. Carpenter. I think he did. Is that is that the kid from uh, Murray County? Yep. He was running good coming out of the backfield there. Either he was running a little slower, that pass got a little faster. One of the two. Had some zip on that pass. He did. Second and ten. Second and ten for the Rebels. Right back in the shotgun. He's going to hand off up the nice middle. Run. Nice run up center. First down. Who do we have running? Jackson off? Davis. Jackson Davis. Good run. He's a hard runner now. Mm, he just through the years. He just put it's been his, fun watching him. He just put his head down and plowed on through there. He is a good. He is a hard runner. Twenty-three. Then we got twenty-one at receiver. Four at receiver. Jackson. Jackson's a hundred eighty-five pounds, six foot, hundred eighty-five, good size kid. Chancey, Chancey played a lot in the first half. Four played a lot in the first half. Holloway. Holloway, Bryson Holloway. Seven minutes, 14 seconds, clock running. Rebels threatening again. Ball's down here on about the 28-yard line. Bright's in at quarterback now. Jackson knows Bright throw out to the right-hand side. Good pass, good catch. First good down and more. Let's see what oh, we got. Oh, they threw a flag on uh, that. Did it, we have a whole guy? He's blocking from behind. Wow. Oh, that was a good, good little, good little play. I thought right he made there. a good block, but I think he got him from behind. Mm. Who is that? 11? 10. 10. <laughs> That's Carter, man. Carter that man. is Carter. Carter's, Carter's smarter than that. What's he doing? I think he's pleading his case over there right now. So I just he see is. number 11 check in. Is that Walker Ballou? Walker Ballou, maybe? Seen that one right That's out what there. the script says. Yep. Carter's coming over the sideline. Cheatham's going over there. I said, what are you doing? What are you doing, son? He's coach. I just tried to hit him. Tried to block him. First down. First and 15. Oh. First and 15. 643. Playing two deep safeties. Does this, hey, does this mean we got a bright quarterback? Bright back there quarterback. Well, there you go. Here we go. He's going to hand off. It's a little Run play back. on words. Yep. Get out there Ooh. on the corner. He's got around the corner. Got more speed. Burst up on the line. Going to get forced out about the seven-yard line. Great run. I tell you. Uh, who was green. that mass? Green. green. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cole Green. Cole. Cole. Cole, uh, green. Cole can get it on. He did a he great job last goal. week. He kind of trotted for a minute, and then he turned on the afterburners. Rev said something to him after that. He may have got on to him about lowering his hat. That's hard not to do when you see somebody coming at you. Six he did a nine. good job waiting on his blocks. He did. Well, Cole Green still in there behind. Bright's quarterback. Take the snap. Going to hand off to him again. Up the center. Bam, bam. Going to, oh, extra effort. Touchdown. You, he, oh, they're going oh, to they mark, they gonna mark him short. They're going to mark him short He's, on the one. He is, he is a hard runner. Man, he, uh, he got stood up there about the two, but then spun around and got in. I guess he had a knee down. Or the ref looking and said, it's 35 nothing. Let's hold them up. One of the two. One of the two. So here we go. Rebels about to put six more on the board, hopefully, right here. A good little possession with some fresh players in there. Give it to him again. Who we got at running back right here? 420. Davis. Jackson. Jackson Davis. He'll get it in go. the end zone. Right. Scopes it out. Going to hand off to him up the Out-a-board. center. Touchdown. Boom. Get to the end zone. Good run. 
Oh, we lost the in. helmet. I, believe, yeah, I, I thought we trying, lost the ball. Uh, somebody, I was seeing somebody's getting up. A I think we lost there. the ball. Well, somebody, one of our one of our kids got up a little slow there for a second. I he think the get, ball popped out. I think they recovered it, and we were uh, Case Holloway made the tackle on the kid. Or am I wrong? <laughs> Kind of looked like how it went, but it did look how it went. Didn't the case it? But in there, he was cross. He's line. left tackle. He yeah. was cross line of scrimmage when a ball popped six, out. Six points for the Rebels. There we go. So we're missing somebody. Reese, Reese. having to run out there like uh, he hey, just jumped out there. He was just a body. Yeah, where do I need to go? Out there on that corner. So the extra point attempt by Cantor. Here's the snaps up, and the kick is good. And that's just like money. Bust that thing back there Ooh. to the track. Your Rebels score. with a big lead here now, 42 to zip over the Yellow Jackets from Hayesville. So, five minutes, 13 seconds to go. Good good possession there by the Rebels. Was was a good possession. I'm looking forward to seeing our second team defense, defense right here. See, they'll probably start with the first team and then shuttle some more out there. We've got uh, our, our, our biggest depths at the line of scrimmage. For sure. Yeah. We got a lot of kids. We got, got a kids. lot of we got a lot of good kids at the line of scrimmage. I I saw a lot of J V games last year and out of thirty kids on J V, twenty, twenty five of them were linemen. They were either linemen or linebackers. Hmm. So we've got we've got some good good kids. We've got some we've got some numbers coming in here. Yeah, we got a lot of young ones. Eighty eight. Elijah Weaver, number nine. Third quarter, Dalton leads Pepperell 24-7. Dalton over Pepperell. So the Rebels going to be kicking off again. Here we go. You see that? Yeah, there we go. Little news flash come across there. 5-13 to go. Rebels up 42 to zip. Mr. Cantor going to put the ball in play. Let's see if we can go for three or four in a row. Here we go, boom, good kick, end over end, beautiful kick, it's gonna be right, oh, it's gonna be on the half yard line, he, but no touchback, but so close, so close. Matt, you got any idea on the rule? Probably as a, not. Has the ball got across the plane or just the guy's feet? I think the ball does. I it makes it. sense if it was the ball. I wouldn't agree but with you. Sometimes making sense. Well, Kevin, Kevin doesn't used to apply. be an official. He may know the nope, answer. I don't else. know that one. Well, the ball, the ball crosses the plane on a touchdown would make sense. So wouldn't it be the ball? And you would think so. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We ball. just figured that one out, didn't we? But I mean, it's. I, it's that, lo I try to apply logic to things. Sometimes it's that way in use. college, but it's not that way in the NFL. We're not in the NFL. Right, well, what I'm getting at is on a punt in the NFL, if the ball goes, flies in the end zone, you can grab it and throw it back out. Mm. i tell you what. You He's stress me sometimes. Hand off by the Yellow <laughs> Jackets, number 20, gets Ooh, left-hand side. Nice run. Got him wrapped around the head up there. We wrestle him down about the 39-yard line. So about four yards on the play for the Yellow Jackets. Who we got in here? A lot, got, of, a lot of. We got a lot. younger. We're going we're gonna to miss a lot of names. Mamas, we trying to find your kids out there. Got Chancey got over there. here at, at left corner. Says Braden Taylor at safety. Yeah, Easton, Easton Chancey there on that corner. Is it 82? Who'd you say it was? Is that 82 at Braden safety? All right, so here we go, second and six for the Yellow Jackets. Hand off to big number seven. Ooh. He plows in through there, drags a couple of our guys. Drags a couple of our guys in there with him and gets up another two or three yards. Now you got to consider it's still their starters against our second and third string in there. You know how I know that, don't you? How do you know that? Tell us, Kevin. Katongalu in on, on the defensive line. I could see that number. Third down and two. I can't see linebackers. What's his linebacker on this side? That's Isaac Davis. Isaac Davis. Third and short here. A handoff again. Running back's going to get. We stand Short. him up. Oh, good, boy, defense good defense right there. Good defense swarmed on it. I thought he was going to get around there. There's number, who's that, 32? 40, 40, 44. 44, 32. 32 is Isaac, Isaac Davis. Davis. Isaac Davis, Davis. made a good okay. tackle. Yep. Fourth down and three, I think we, fourth and two, long two. If they mark it at the spot, I guess it can't be a, a long two or a short two. It's just two, right? Yeah. I think we got Levi Cochran in here at left. Levi. 
left we tackle. Go fourth down for the Yellow Jackets. Let's see what happens here. They're going to hand off. We got a penalty. I have a little yeah, Levi's, tran motion. Motion. Levi's transition from linebacker to defensive line. Defensive line this year. Oh man, I meant to get 50-50 right because I would have won. Nine, three, five. Go play your prize at the concession stand. Man. That's ticket number three, five, eight, nine, three, five. We could have had it, Andy. Congratulations. So close. So close. We were close. All right, fourth down and seven. Fourth and seven for the Yellow Jackets. That little penalty backs them up. 2.56, clock running. That Turner calling the defensive plays. Here we go, quarterbacks rolling out on the left-hand side, looking throw, got a guy open, big McTaggart. Catch. Nice play. Nice play, first down, going to be out about the 47-yard line. He just rolls across through there and just big old kid. They just got He's a big kid up. now. Yep. He had a pretty good year last year in basketball. And Towns County. Yeah, they won the state championship. Yeah, yeah. so did. It's a pretty good accomplishment. He could oh, yeah. be a two-state champion, right? In different states. Right. You are catching on to this. I like that, KP. I'll tell you what. First down and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. Ball's on the 47 48. Here we go. I think that's Garland still in quarterbacking for them. We're Ooh. coming up pressing, trying to get in through there. I bet we got all sides. Yeah, encroachment on the defense. He got up there a little bit too quick. All sides. Yeah, we're, we're officially into a running clock, just in case you didn't know. 44 is middle linebacker. Turner, Braden Turner. Braden Turner. Yeah, we lost another. We lost one of our good little Turners last year, McKay Turner. Yeah, he was McKay one of those was a good just, football He was player. just a one-year wonder boy, decided to play. And didn't I was play. watching one of those games the other night on television. He, he, I watched him run a kid down. I thought, yeah. good gracious. He's a great kid. Really good kid. Young man, should I say. First down and five. Handoff number seven. Oh, seven round, big first down, and still pounding through there. Seven's, seven's a good size kid, well, isn't he? He is. Number seven for them is Lunsford. Let's see. Don't got to wait on him, but if I was at the oh, carnival listen. guessing weights, I'd say he's about 180. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can win a prize for that one. Looks, looks to be about 180 from here. Oh. First down and 10. Uh, ball is going to be up about the 32-yard line. Folks, you get what you pay for out of us. That's Put like Caden Caraway in at nose tackle. Caden who? Caraway. What number is that? 50? Number 50. Number 50. Sophomore. Here we go. Get some experience in there. That's what we need. Here we go. First down and 10. Yellow Jackets back to throw. Gets out here in the flats, number eight. Got a good little block. Oh, and Ooh. he just got hammered. I wonder who that was. Braden Turner. Wow. Braden Turner. Look at there. A little freshman laid a lick on. He's six foot, 210 pounds. Is that right? He's a sophomore. Sophomore. He growed up real quick then, didn't he? Well, it just got it. I'm just going on here. I was corrected very fastly by Emma. She knows these kids, but hard lick. I don't care if he's a senior, that was a hard lick. Good play. Big old kid, too. Here we go, second down and eight. Second and eight. Mm. Go quarterback a little bit. Nice play. play. We got him in there, number 45 for Levi the Levi Cochran. Levi. Nice play by the defense. Levi. Yeah, defensive tackle on this side. Oh, nice play. So that's going to loss about three or four. So that ends the third quarter. we got a running clock going here now, so that's why we got through 12 minutes in 12 minutes. Running yeah. clock gets you through that fast. So Rebels at the end of the third quarter, big 42 to nothing lead over the Yellow Jackets, which is a perfect time to, again, extend our offer out to all of you want to sponsor. And just by us talking up here tonight, we've got – some good sponsors in here. We've got Mountain Place Realty. I uh, want to thank the folks out at Mountain Place Realty and Richard Ledford, Philip Ledford. What am I, I always do that? I don't know why, but Philip Ledford and all the gang out there at Mountain Place appreciate them. Richard York and Woodman Life, new sponsor on board with us. Go Green Spray Foam, Professional Tri State EMC, Steve Tucker Remax, Town and Country, the Sweet Shop, Mountain Valley Community Bank, the Trailer Drive In. The home of many calories, but good biscuits. 
uh, Kevin Painter Insurance, Mercer Orchards, and ETC Security. And if you'd like to hear your name called out, reach out to Mr. Bubba Gibbs at the high school up here. We'd love to have you on board. 250 bucks a year gets you the whole season sponsorship, and you're helping out a great program, great kids, and you get to watch some of these games on these cold, rainy nights, get to listen to Matthew, Andy, and unfortunately listen to me. But it is what it is. 12 minutes here. We're going to start the fourth quarter. Rebels going to still be on defense. I don't think we changed that any. So it's going to be third down and 11. <laughs> got the kit, the Rebel. Got a bunch of students down here. They got some cowbells. You wonder where they got those cowbells at. Have any idea, Matthew? Painter. K -G. K -G. Oh, uh -oh. We're offside. We're oh, off way offside. Yeah, they yeah. don't want that running clock. You know, uh, while we got a chance here, Kevin, we need a big crowd next week against yeah, Union County. Absolutely. I would say Union. Now, we we took a big crowd up to Union last year, mm -hmm. but I would say Union probably bring a thousand folks. They will. Down They're coming here. down. They will. Yeah. So it's going to be the new, new pro. You know, just the new program. New program They're excited. And, uh, a lot of new things going on. Oh yeah. Got yep. a new fill house. New fill house. How about that? So third down and about six, it looks like, for the Yellow Jackets. So they're going to roll out here. Quarterback rolling out. That's a, gets that nice pass play. off. Big McTaggart, same play they ran a minute ago. Uh-oh, look, look for a flag. What do we got going on here? Number six coming here, wanted to get a little action. Six. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was not happy with Callahan hitting his receiver. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I think they made contact right there on it, and just the momentum of all took them out of there. I can see the numbers a little better now that they're on this side. We That's got good. Braden Taylor in the ball game. But if you'd go see Dr. Jabley, you could see him much better. Uh, Carson Callahan is playing as outside linebacker. He's just a freshman. A lot of good kids. Out. You know, somebody needs to call Chris Jabley up. Y'all call him and text him. Tell him as much talk as he gets him and russell seaboat both they they need to be ponying up some money <laughs> i know it'll just be reflected on our bill somewhere along the way but much good <laughs> much pr along the way it would be but that is it. <coughs> so 10 minutes 36 seconds to go rebels up 42 to nothing so golly we got a lot of a lot of kids out there a lot of different numbers out there yeah look matthew i saved this for you about this right i like that kim more gal belt. We're going to give a bunch of them away at the rodeo next week. I'd love for you to be here. At, I'd love for you to be at the rodeo, but I'd re really love for you to be here at watching Rebel football next Friday night. And you can come to the rodeo Saturday night. We'll have great rodeo action both nights. Go All the proceeds go to our Blue Ridge Qantas Club. And that money, I promise you, goes straight back in helping the community, helping the kids. Kevin, is there a lot of local guys that – Hey, we have cowboys. You would not believe it. I'm serious. We have cowboys from all over. Uh, we, we'll we have them. I mean, we've had them t a lot from Texas, Oklahoma, Alabama. There is a lot of locals. I mean, we get a good little regional pool, but we'll have uh, we'll have several, you know, prior past champions and prior champions. Uh, our rodeo association is the IPRA, the International Professional Rodeo Association. It's really kind of the AAA of the uh, the the PRCA uh, Pro Rodeo Cowboy. That's the major league of rodeo. I got you. But uh, no, we have some very talented. A lot of the a lot of the bull riders you'll see them on PBR. So they can come. They'll ride in two or three different association stuff. Very talented cowboys, and and we always try to put on a great show. So we're we'll looking for you next week. So first down and ten. Bar the Yellow Jackets threatening here to put some points on the board. They got the ball down about the. 16, 17 yard line. They got a man in motion coming across number 25. Quarterback Caldwell is going to throw deep. He's got nice a guy throw. trying to go up and get nice it. Nice throw. Oh, good defense. Good throw. Almost oh, ruled it in. They're trying to get it. Trying to get it to McTaggart over all there. The ball, all the above. That was a good play on defense, yeah. too. He either got hurt feelings or something. He was sitting on the ground over there. That's a good play by those boys. Yeah, yeah it was. It was. Good, good defense. I thought he was going to pull it, pull it down. Good coverage over there. And I will have to say, the band's got good popcorn down there in the concession stand. I had to visit, <laughs> give them some money. While y'all were at the convenience store, I was at the concession stand. Hmm. All right, here we go, second down and 10. 
Caldwell back in. Coming up on the line. We got a little pressure coming in. They nice hand play. off. Oh. Number seven. Oh, we about had him in the back. Right. Good lick. Who nice that lick nice defense. That number 32 right there for the – Isaac Davis. Isaac Davis laid some wood. Chris Katangalu made the first contact. He yep. slipped right through and made, made a good – Always good a fun name to say, isn't it? Katangalu. Yeah. yeah. Those are good folks. They've been in yes, this community are. forever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. They're, they're all – now, they're kin to Pete, too, aren't they? The Blucas clan and all of them. 59 checking in. 59. I don't think we, don't we got a 59. Well, just... There we go. Third down. Third down and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. They're shuttling some players around trying to get some people. Caldwell, the quarterback, back in backfield. He's rolling out, looking to throw, looking to throw. He's got a – Pressure coming on. He gets it. Oh, I thought we were going to have nice a touchdown. Catch. Nice yep. catch. Touchdown to the Yellow Jackets. Oh, Big McTaggart reeled that in. And he's still, he's over there kind of mouthing a little bit. Over there mouth. He seen one of, his right. players, one of his players pushing back over there a little bit. Like. In the band so six points on the board by the Yellow Jackets. Good, good throw and good catch by the Yellow Jackets in there. Put six points on the board. Let's see, what do we got out here? Is this kickoff team or is this our offense? Well, this is our... Out here, 72. E-A-T, a little extra Slade Epperson. Big Slade. 72. Uh, who else we got there on the offense? Extra line? point attempt by the Yellow Jackets. Number four is going to be the kicker. A little pooch, and it's up. Good little kick. Extra point's good. 42-7. Rebels... In the lead still. 8.30 to go. Rebels still got the lead. 60. Jacoby Dye, a ninth grader. Going to check in. Hey, they just mentioned a sponsor. 53. They just mentioned a sponsor you may want to pay attention to. What was that? Blue Ridge Assisted Living. I mean, you're getting closer. Uh oh. We're getting closer. I think my mom paid for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Bubba, Bubba still listening to us. He's not, I did say Steve Tucker Remax real. I know Steve Tucker. Steve Tucker, a good client of mine, great guy. I guess I'm getting scolded by Bubba. Oh, did, let's see. You oh, pay uh oh, uh oh. We did make a mistake. We left them off. Uh oh. And you know, I think we did this last year. But that's even, you know, when you get left off, that just means you get better PR. We left off the good folks at the Empty Stocking Fund. Kevin Cochran and the gang, the Empty Stocking, they do great community work during the holidays. They've got the thrift store lo located out here in the Valley Village Shopping Center. So, you know, they, they've they helped a lot of families. That organization has been around for many, many years, kind of started out of a little uh, out of our Kiwanis Club and uh, helped them up and going. They've kept it going. So Kevin and all the Cochrans and all of them kept that going, making a lot of kids Christmas Happy. We're gonna we're gonna need another lineman out there on the kickoff team. Oh, here he comes. He's coming up from the the deep. Now we got too many. Chris Mathis trying to text us a little bit down here, huh? He's here ready for next week. Here He's getting we ready. Go. Boom! A kickoff by the Yellow Jackets down about the 12. Got it. Well, I know one thing. They've got me excited about kickoffs. That was Callahan make, caught that ball on the kickoff. At least we'll get to see next week somebody bring the ball upfield. There we go. That's going to be a Should good game. Should be fun, right? Oh, yeah. Want I'm excited about it. Yeah, you're going to have the big Matthew Queen, Andy Arp, and the illustrious newly, uh, newly recruited Eddie O'Neill in here with you next week. Rebels will get – what time y'all going to start next – Friday night. 7.30. Seven. <laughs> That's a game. Go. Chickens. Here we go. Good pass by, is that Bright still in there? Great yeah. pass. He put that ball on the money. Got it to number 19 there. Get up to number 15. Brody Pascal. Brody Pascal. You know, that kid, Brody Brody caught three or four balls last week. He had a little, he had a little spin move left and right. Yep. Noah said we're going to have to teach him another move. Here we go. <laughs> Second four for the Rebels. But he, he, he's got good hands. He made some great, great catches. Boom. Oh, Bright pumps the ball, finds the guy in the center, and incomplete. That's all right. Had a, had a guy got a flag a, on the play. Yeah, tried to get the ball back to Pascal. 
Oh, we got all kinds of things going. Everybody's getting excited. Maybe we got a defensive hold. I think it is. Oh, they try holding past to trying to not let him get loose. Oh, again, hey, I legal man to... downfield. I didn't see that. <clears throat> Doesn't mean it wasn't wrong, but who we got here? Number nine over here, at receiver. That's Elijah Weaver. Elijah Weaver. <coughs> freshman. Freshman Elijah Weaver, right? right there. Here we go. Second down and what are we doing here? Uh, Andy, you're talking about Edmund. kickoffs. What, am I, I, what I can't wait for next week to see Kaysen opening kickoff run down and just. Kaysen will be as excited as me and you will be. You got that nine. right. Whoa. Oh, busted play. <laughs> you got to run the ball, son. You can't stand there and hold it. They got to get you. Boom. That a boy. Oh, he, he turned nothing into at least uh, back to the line of scrimmage. He, he, thought, he thought he was in practice there for I a think second. He, did. he yeah. just felt like busted play like, yeah. oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> he thought he was in practice there for a minute where well, we just stopped hey, the play. He could have been like one of the, you know how George used to run that, where they'd hide that ball back there for a minute and hope nobody had attention and then take off. Well, I assure you, he's like. got a strong enough arm to zip it down the he field. Does. Third and eight for the Rebels. Let's see Bright looking to throw, looking to throw. He's got a guy open, zips it down there. Oh, oh intercepted. interception. Intercept. We had a guy open just a little bit underthrown, intercepted. Good play by the safety. Yep, yep. He, he read that. He's, you know, Bright's eyes was fixed on that guy. Fixed that he did. That safety just read, read his. That's, you know, young quarterbacks make that mistake. He just locked in on him and never looked, and that safety knew where he was going. Did you ever make that mistake, Andy? Andy oh, yeah. Andy, Plenty of times. Andy, Andy, Andy didn't make mistakes. Plenty of times. Five minutes, 12 seconds to go. Rebels up 42 to 7. A lot of good offense tonight. A lot of great defense tonight as well. So much improved over last week. You know, the penalties, although we've had some, still the penalties have. We're going to have to clean them up next week. Uh, you, you can't have a whole lot of penalties against Union. Union Union's got a good football team. You heard any uh, anything out of Union this year? Matt, I know you do FCA. I don't want to. I don't want to infringe on it. But who's who's uh, who's playing quarterback for him? Same kid as I last year. Same kid as last year. He he did a good job against us last year. He did. They got um. You know, some spots to feel like we do, but uh, right. I'm anxious to see how they look. And they've lost a lot of players in the last two years. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, it, it's, I mean, everything has changed. Right. So, something they've been used to over the last, what, 19 years, seems like, has all changed. All right, here we go. A little, oh, flip, fumble on the ball. I think we're going to recover. They tried to uh, do a little flea flicker like. There you go. Somebody came up with it. to pop it up there to that back. 38 came up with it, but it was an incomplete pass. The coach, Perry, he's going to have them ready. He's a good guy, and uh, they'll be ready to. I guess it's play. 30, that was 32. Isaac Davis. We don't have a 38. So you've been wa you've been watching some of the practices out there, Vincent? I don't know. We got Lawson Sullivan in at, at this at this right corner over here. How do you know so much? You've not been watching. I'm just a good listener. Oh, okay. I didn't watch your wife. <laughs> All right. Second down and ten. Six. That's a lateral. Oh, Get on lateral. the football. That was a lateral. Yeah. I ain't gonna call it a lateral. <laughs> Look at the one guy. One real for say it was pushing Ball's back down right here. Was. Yeah. He He's goes, saying it's down right here. Four twenty-eight. Clock's running. Nope. They gonna move it up. Oh. They're saying, guys, it's forty-two to seven. It's four minutes. Yeah, I, I'm saying. with you on that. Mm -hmm, exactly. So next week, we got to make sure we get all the – who's going to be the sponsor guy next week? Is that going to be Matthew? Uh -huh. We'll get them all. We'll We're them all, all capable of reading sponsors. I know you can. I know you can. We'll get, it. We'll get Emma in here. That's what we'll do. <laughs> she gets nervous. I'm going to go see Emma tomorrow and get a – Get a biscuit. Where she work at? Trailer. She's at the trailer. Oh, here we go. Yellow Jackets try to get the ball up the center, get back to the original line of scrimmage. Uh, 
So that's going to be fourth down for the Yellow Jackets. She's working out here at the trailer. Are you really? I didn't know that. I'm there all the time. Big number 78, Jack Dyer. Limping a little bit. Oh. Man, all getting fired up here in the fourth quarter. Here we go. Fourth down and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. Quarterback rolling out on the right. We're trying to get pressure. We got somebody coming up fast. He just throws it up. Oh, Ooh. incomplete, wasn't it? I said it hit the Yeah, yeah it bounced. Yeah, I thought it bounced. I've seen that. Quarterback was throwing that up for a prayer right there. So clock still running 2.51. They got that running clock. We're going to maybe get a play or two off at best. Trying to get them out there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're trying to get some more players in and out there. So, yeah, next week, next, <laughs> are the Rebels out there congratulating somebody. I don't know who it was. They're all over there. One of the players made a good play right there, and they're all over on top of it. You know who I miss out here? I think, we're, I think we're missing a quarterback. Well, no, you know who I'm missing out here? The Cheetah King. The Cheetah King. The I Cheetah miss King. Tommy, too. Yeah. Tommy's a good kid. He is. I seen him the other night. He's working over blue jeans, helping out with the little. Uh, I saw him here tonight. Oh, is he? Of course he's here tonight. Of First course. down and 10, Rebels. Right still at quarterback. Two minutes to go, running clock. A little handoff. Out to little Callahan. Pass. Little, we get to see oh, Callahan, Callahan run the ball. we got a penalty on the play here. See what we got hold. here. we got something. we got a little... He's going to call something on 31. Yeah, I think yeah. he's I think blocked below the waist. Behind the line there, I believe. A little chop block, maybe. That kid was, kid got him, got it right there at the knees. Let's see what we got. How do you pronounce oh. that? Is that Knuckles? Knuckles. Oh, Andrew yeah. Knuckles. Oh, we got one of the Knuckles kids out here playing? Yeah, that's a good name there. It I is. like that. Andrew Knuckles. Andrew Knuckles. I like Hey, we got, we got through this game without any rain. How about that? We get another minute, 47 yep. seconds. We'll Somebody was looking out for us tonight. Yep. Storms Absolutely. went around us. Absolutely. Absolutely. So here we go. First and long. First and 20 for the Rebels. Right back and quarterback. Going to throw out on the left-hand side. Hang on to the ball. Oh, my. Uh-oh. Right, right. Got to hang on to it. A little pass, yep. Like, hmm, you know what? It would have been a little easier if I'd have caught that and ran. He's hurting a little bit. He took a pretty hard lick. He did take a good shot. What yeah. number is that? Can you know. say that, Matt? 19. Brody. Brody Pascal. Brody Pascal. 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 He's been playing quite a bit in the second half. Minute five, minute four. Clock is running. Ball's on the 34. You'll get one, two more plays maybe. Right back here, signal a little info to his back. We got a little blitz coming on. They got pressure. Little inside tunnel screen. Got some room if he can get the corner. Uh oh no, they're gonna get him behind. Gonna be behind. Got back maybe to the line of scrimmage there. Let's see where they mark it. I think after the after the kid got it right there, he's like, I've got to figure out some way to get up through the field here. He had a lot of traffic in there. This should be the last play of the ball game yep, right this here. It's gonna be our last play right here. Uh-oh, we put the kicker in. He's going to play receiver. He's looking at coach <laughs> like, hey, 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 wait a minute. Yeah, he is in there. Big Jack in there. Jack can scoot now. He's fast. He can. He, he is fast. This is it. We this might is not get the playoff, but he needs to go Come down on. the sideline Come quickly. On. Come on. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight. So he's looking back. Oh, what do we got here? Got a penalty. Timeout. Huh? What? Surely we didn't call timeout. Offsides. Uh, let's run the clock. That's the ball game. Hey, come see us next week. We got Union County at home kick off the season. Yep, it's going to be the big home. We need a good the, crowd. We need a big crowd here. We're going to be bringing you Rebel Fan and Rebel TV in here. The Rebels get a big win in here, 42-7 to over the Hayesville Yellow Jackets. A good night of football for the Rebels out here. And so, like Andy said, we want you in here next week. Kickoff's going to be at 7.30. Y'all are going to be starting 7-ish somewhere in there. That's correct. 7 o'clock, tune in to Fan and Rebel TV. We'll be posting some links around. You can look, look for it on there. But if you go to YouTube, just put in Fan and Rebel TV. 
It'll take you right to the live action of this game. It's been great being here with you tonight. We certainly want to thank all of our sponsors. Again, if you're interested in sponsoring, helping out the technology department, supporting these kids and the great job they do, reach out to Mr. Bubba Gibbs. Going to run through them real quick one more time. Go Green Spray Foam Professionals, Mountain Place Realty, Steve Tucker Remax Realty, uh, the, the good folks out of the Empty Stocking Fund, Woodman Life Richard York, uh, the Sweet Shot, Mountain Valley Community Bank, the Trailer Drive-In along with Miss Emma, Kevin Painter Insurance, Mercier Orchards, ETC Security. We thank y'all. Have a great weekend. Join us back here next Friday night for live Rebel football. Take care, and we'll see you next week. Go Rebels.